Caller, you're on Hello. the air. Threatened, I felt unwelcome, and it was a death. And so then I went to my pastor and I was like, what's going on? He's like, oh, you know. But I do have something that's just bump. So I've always had a lot of things happen to me all my life. So I'm going to. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Calls from Beyond. I am your host, as always, Austin Alvarez from Bizarre Junkies. We have our co-host, Miss Black Cauldron, over here from the Black Cauldron. Hey, do we uh, call you Noah? Do we just we just call yeah, you Noah? Because I, I don't mean, like calling you the Black Cauldron. That makes you sound like I know it's so commercially. Hey, hey we have I'm, our fan favorite here. We have George in the house. George is present. The now voice. the cam is not on George yet because y'all. I don't know if y'all ready for him. So. <laughs> No, they ready for them because in them comments, they was ready, ready. We've okay? already we've already got a super chat. We're going to get to that. We've already got a super <laughs> chat. And it says, George, you got me? <laughs> Skipping the line. Uh, George, I'll give you that number. We'll just Jesus. get them ready. Or so you know. Um, it's 3727. We won't add them just yet. Yeah, they got to join the waiting room for that. Um, yeah, you got to be in the... You can't just give us your phone number and then just be like, make it happen. You got to be in there. Listen, but I appreciate the super chat. They're dedicated. They are dedicated. I am very proud of the of the community <laughs> we're building here. Uh, how has your week been? It's been good. It's very, been, very prosperous. Very, very pro blessed. That's what we love to hear. George, how has your week been? I know today was a, was a, was a doozy for Amazing. us. Amazing. Uh, a lot of, lot of productivity. Got yes. to play games. Yes. Uh, gamer junkies. We just started that up. Stay tuned. We had a lot of fun uh, this week creating that. And yeah, Super Bowl was awesome. It was. So like, yeah, this is like about to come up on a week from the saddest day in sports, which is the Super Bowl. Uh, just because it's over. <laughs> you mean the Usher Bowl? Oh, because, yeah. Because baby, he was. Pop you know, you know, it wasn't crazy, stakes. but I enjoyed it. Like it was. I just, loved it. It, it was, was just. I had fun. I was like, this is yes. a fun Super Bowl halftime show. I yeah. think that's all it needed yeah, to be. Yeah, it was very Vegas esque, and I thoroughly enjoyed it as a millennial who's a Usher fan. That was my first crush yeah. ever. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You were You're roasting. So you were roasting him though last week, George. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, he did. Yes. He, Allegedly. I mean, okay, here's here's a real question. Usher, Chris Brown. That's what it's I'm saying. It's still Usher. That's it's what I'm saying. At, Usher. at the halftime show, I think if you have Chris Brown, I don't know. I think it might be a slightly better performance. <laughs> Listen, they didn't ask Usher to come. They asked Chris, or, they no, didn't they ask didn't Chris, ask Chris Brown to come. Yes. They asked Usher. They did ask Usher Chris to Brown come. also doesn't have a residency in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and something tells me that Usher was kind of spoon-fed that Okay, but show. I went to the Usher residency years ago. It was, See, my mom works Ooh, it all it's the so time. Good. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I'll, uh, I'll uh, insert the link to buy Usher tickets uh, below. <laughs> <laughs> you should have sold them. I should have. Yeah. I should have. Um, but yeah, no, so, that, that's yeah. that. Well, for if this is your first time watching, welcome to Calls from Beyond. This is our call-in show between the Black Cauldron and Bizarre Junkies here. This is uh, where you get to tell us your story. So you get to call the number, which is in the description of both of our shows right now. You can click that number, call in, and uh, yeah. So let's go over the rules real quick. So <laughs> everybody gets, uh, the. it's completely free to call. Completely free. Completely free. You can super chat. 
to skip the line. Now that is $5 for three minutes or $10 for five minutes. So every free call though gets three minutes. And that is just because we have so many of you that want to call in and want to be a part of the show that we, we gotta, we gotta get through you guys. Cause yes. we love having you all on, but it, it'd know. be a long line. We it, have to turn people away and say, Hey, yeah. let me go ahead and screenshot your number for next week. So yeah. you guys literally it's free, but you know, you want to skip the line. There are some rules. So first of all, um, please don't be crazy. Please don't, and by crazy. Cra- by crazy, I mean like don't be out here spewing profanities yeah. for the just for the sake of it. Like, yeah. we're adults. Like, I'm not going to censor you. Also, new rule we had to implement: you must be 18 or older to call in. Uh, this yes. is an 18 or older show. This is an 18 or older show. Or if you are underage, you need to have your parents' permission to be watching. Okay, viewer yes. discretion is advised. There is some heavy topics in this. George sure. might get shirtless later. I don't know what's right. going to happen. We don't Whoa. know what's going to happen. We don't Listen. know. We don't know. And you know what? The one Take thing that off. George forgot to uh, forgot to mention about his week is that confident boost. From yeah, last yeah, yeah, yeah. Week. Last Friday, George got a big confidence boost. Listen. Yeah, I was walking around with my chest held high <laughs> this week. Did you let Cameron know? Like, hey. I actually did. I feel like <laughs> screenshotting the the text thread and just be like, hey, listen, like, <laughs> lady. You better be on your P's and Q's, all right? He People said want you me. are not irreplaceable. Okay? I will be posting the text thread soon. Don't worry. <laughs> I felt so sexier because of George this week. Yes. Yes. I was we walking around with Matt Chess High. Man. And I'm not even George. Dude, and Mr. Fresh. Yeah, Mr. Fresh. Mr. Fresh, <laughs> listen, you never can see him, but he's here. I was talking back to Noah this week. Yeah. Oh, oh. I thought I felt like I was George this week. <laughs> <laughs> he tried it, y'all. Uh, I said, okay. George, they're saying your OnlyFans wasn't put up, by the way. I So that <laughs> could be a big reveal for the end of the show, ladies. That's why you have to stick around. This is going to be a great live stream tonight. You're not going to want to miss a second of it no. because <laughs> the link could be dropped you at any what? moment. And now do you see why I'm a part of this? It's the duality. It's the spiritual reparations in the haunted, but it's also the ratchet because, <laughs> sir. <laughs> George and I one. went to Swainston. I went to Cheyenne. Okay, I... <laughs> he said that that only fans just may be dropping at the end. So of the yes, <laughs> Shalina's asking George, what was up with that delay, bro? So we were delaying it because we do have a guest joining us. I'm not going to say who yet. They're going to be here in a, a little bit. Traffic here has been crazy it's the last crazy. few years. So we have a guest coming in. They're going to join us. Uh, if you're fans of Bizarre Junkies, you'll know who it is. But um, until then, you guys will just have to hang around and wait. So we apologize for the delay. We mm-hmm. were going to get you. Get you going, but uh, I know Crazy Cat Lady, you gotta you gotta call into the number. Yes, yes, we're still waiting for those last four digits yep. to pop in. Um, but one last rule: yes, you will hear this sound, the sound yes. of a grandfather yes. clock. Once the three minutes is struck, that just tells you to start wrapping it up wherever you're at. It will sound just like this. Yep. We strike it four times. One more. Boom. All right. That's that. So whenever you hear that, it's time to wrap it up. Yes. And we do have to be um, we do have to be a little bit more uh, strict with the pulling out. So we apologize if, if you're really deep in your story, but we got to get to everybody. Um, that's right. just yes. how, if it were up to me, we'd give you everybody four hours and this would be a 24 right. hour show. Uh, we literally I promise because y'all be having tea tea and baby. OK. Um, one thing I did want to mention is yes. I have a big announcement. You do have a big announcement that Ooh. we need to, I think we need to give you your own little segment here. Uh oh. Okay. Y'all, y'all know how I always be telling stories and I'm like, I'm not initiated. I'm not initiated. Well, tomorrow is my initiation. I want to thank my patrons. Let's go. I want to thank my patrons, especially I made Patreon to teach spirituality and to connect with people like me and people in the beginning of their journey. And I was able to get my initiation. You know, that's what I made the platform for. And here we are. Short time. I I love y'all down. It's a lot of YouTubers um, that watch and support me that come over to Patreon and now it's only up from here and I'm going to be teaching even more because I'm going to be initiated. So just send me your blessings in the comments, your ashes and all that good stuff because it's going down tomorrow morning. If somebody wants to support you on your journey, how can they, How besides obviously being here because we yeah. appreciate them no matter what. But if somebody wants to go a little bit above and beyond, what can they do to support you? Absolutely. So if you would like to send Ebo, which is um, offerings to the Orisha or even just congratulatory 
um, donations, you can cash at me. I'm going to be putting it in the comments or you can send us a super chat. I, I truly appreciate y'all. This totally would not have even been a thing if it wasn't for YouTube and Patreon. So I love y'all down. I thank you for all the support. I say amen. I bobo because baby, we're here. We, I'm here. We are. And now I'm gonna have to teach you some of these uh, black people, these African practices. You scare me, okay? Not I know. <laughs> it's just because of the unknown, all right? I text her and she was like, Austin, you should have been known this. I was like, yes, ma'am. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Because I'll be on his ass like, why don't I? So I'm like, now, why did you do that? Okay, because we're, we're friends. I let I this do, man down. I didn't do anything, okay? He I'm, always doing something. I'm, it's very much so something. It's giving something. Every time I talk to him, I'm like, all right, okay. But I appreciate y'all, like, for real, for real, for real. I love t my TikTok family, my YouTube family, my Patreon family, Facebook, Instagram. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate it. Yes. So, George, do we have that number in? Uh, we do. Okay, uh -oh. we're going to go ahead and get to them. We're going to go ahead and start the calls off right away. All righty. Star 6 to unmute yourself. Star 6. Star 6 to unmute yourself. If you could also mute your televisions. Caller, you are in the room. Hi. Hi, babe. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, Noah. Hi, Mr. Jun Bizarre Junkies. Hi, George. Hey. <laughs> yeah, George got a name before hey. me. <laughs> <laughs> no, George was last. Anyways, um, oh. I have a lot of stories to tell, so that's why I super chatted for the extra time and we get right into it. All right. Um, I'm, 40, I'm 45 years old, and um, my first experience happened to me when I was a teenager in the 90s. Unfortunately, I don't remember what year this happened but it was the night before easter and me and my parents went to the grocery store to get last minute items for easter dinner and it's a beautiful spring night wispy clouds we get home my parents go inside the house for some reason i was just dilly dallying and taking my dearly sweet time going back into the house so i just happened to look up at the sky and i see these two orbs of light zigzagging mm. one was zigzagging really fast the other one was zigzagging really slow. And I was like, that's weird. Like, I didn't think much of it, but I went into the house. Months later, it's summertime now. Now, this is back in the 90s when ACs were a luxury item. We didn't have mm -hmm. AC in my house, but I did have an above ground pool in my backyard. So when nice. it got really hot at night, mm -hmm. I would go take a night swim. So I went to take a night swim. And, you know, if you have an above ground pool, you walk up the ladder over the little platform and down the ladder. So mm -hmm. as soon as I got up to the platform, same thing, wispy cloud, I saw the same lights again, doing the same maneuvers. Um, I was a little scared. I was like, what the hell is that? And I'm trying to think, what could it be? I don't live very far from an airport, but I know what the lights of airplanes look like. And airplanes don't make maneuvers like that. Mm. So I booked it into the house because I was scared at this time because I didn't mm -hmm. know what it was. Um, fast forward to me being, being an adult. Um, I found out through uh, Google and YouTube that apparently back in the 90s, the back, um, there, was a, there was a UFO crash mm -hmm. in my area. I live in the suburbs of NYC, east of NYC, and um, allegedly a... UFO was shot down by a laboratory out east of me. Mm -hmm. It crashed in a state I've park. I've heard of that. It's called the South Haven crash, if anyone mm -hmm. wants to look it up. I'm looking it up right um, now. South Haven? Yeah. South Haven crash. Um, UFO, what, what was the show on, I think it was History Channel, with the three guys, the old guy with the hat and the glasses? Uh, I forget the name of the show, but uh, UFO something? Yes, yes, They yes. even went out... They even went out there to check the um, crash site. Nothing grows there. Oh. It's radioactive. Mm -hmm. um, the, if anyone wants to look that up, it's called Alien Surveillance, but I forgot the name of the show. It's UFO Hunters. UFO Hunters, I think. Oh, yeah. UFO um, Hunters on History. Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that was my UFO story. So now I have a bunch of ghost stories. Mm -hmm. Um. The first time I ever saw some kind of little bit of an apparition, um, it had to be like the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. I went to a park with me and my friend's um, daughter. 
to go see the ducks and at this park they had this big beautiful victorian mansion so mm. we're walking back to the um parking lot now the parks department uses that mansion as their offices so i just have to be walking by i looked up at the third floor and i see a face in the window mm. now i'm aging myself again <laughs> 80s kids will remember. <laughs> if you remember the, the puppet Madam, mm -hmm. it looked like the puppet Madam wearing a jester suit. Oh, no. So it, it was like a marionette puppet. And my friend who's walking ahead of me, she's like, Dad, did you see that? I was like, yeah, the face in the window. Mm. My friend saw it, too. Oh, um, no. mm -mm. We did some research on this. Um, it used to be a resort back in the early 1900s. And changed a couple of hands it used to be a orphanage so i think it was residual energy of when it was an orphanage because mm -hmm. i saw that puppet in the window mm -hmm. um i've worked in healthcare for 15 years i work in a hospital i've seen a lot of things in the hospital mm -hmm. um i've seen shadows out of the corners of my eyes mm -hmm. um we have a cul-de-sac of rooms, and some of them are private rooms for hospice and isolation patients. And um, one time, I was in one of my patients' rooms. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning after which an hour, right? I work night shift, so I had to drain the ladies' NP drain. I'm sorry, JP drain. Mm -hmm. So... I go and I do that. I go to the bathroom. Now, I didn't turn the lights on. and I didn't want to wake my patient. I bent down to dump the blood in the toilet so I could flush it. As I came up, I was facing the mirror. So I see in the mirror, there's an apparition walking into the room behind me. They had white hair. Mm -hmm. They're wearing a hospital gown. And you know how old people shuffle when they walk? Yep. Shuffling into the room. Mm -hmm. I wasn't scared. I was just very shocked that I actually saw mm -hmm. an apparition at work. Mm -hmm. um, call lights go off by themselves. There's no one in the room. Mm -hmm. So every time that happens, it'll happen for like a couple of times until I go in the room. I say, can you please stop pressing the light, please? Yeah. And then it stops. <laughs> They're humans. They're humans. What did yeah. you say last week? Um, hospitals are arrival and departure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I, I totally believe you. Thank you so much for yes, thank you. sharing your experience. I truly appreciate it. I've oh, heard all that up? stuff. I have one more. I'm up on my 10. Yes. Yeah, you are. Oh, but right. it's I'll okay. It. Get back I'll in line. Yes. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. George Bye. says thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Later. Yeah, I've, I've heard all that kind of stuff. Working in hospitals, it's crazy. That's why I was like, oh, I want to be a nurse. Um, I'll be a spiritualist instead. My girl. I'm glad we started with the UFO story. That makes me happy. I'm actually, yes. I was actually looking into it. Um, it's of course, of course, and this makes me happy. The website I go to is all green text. It's supposed <laughs> yeah. to look like the Matrix. So I'm like, yes, that's yeah. that's the website I need yeah. for my my alien info. Of course. So George, oh, actually. Oh well, I mean, we ha you have a, a twenty dollars super chat, but I mean, I oh my gosh, Mister Fresh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> Why are you sorry? You know, I had to let you know I appreciate you. I say thank you, honey. That's he awesome. knows that goes right back to him. It's kind of like yeah. paying yourself, kind of. Yeah, it I is. I should have got a hundred, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you get. I think you get. I think you get seventy percent of whatever. YouTube takes thirty because YouTube takes a lot. Yeah. But you know, it doesn't take a lot, George. So who's the next caller? The next caller is going to be 1361. 1361. Star six to unmute yourself. One three six one. Caller, you are in the room. Hello. Hi, Hello. Love. So I am a huge fan. I'll be really, really quick. I just wanted to share my quick, quick story. Um, I got engaged. Oh, can you mute your TV for us, please? I did. Oh, okay. Uh, 
I'm sorry. So I'm a huge, huge fan by Codron. The Zara Junkie. Love you guys. I love, 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 love. I love you down. Um, Thank I'm you. I'm going to make this. You're welcome. I love you guys so much. But I'm going to make this really quick. So, um, Peter said, my fiance's father, he was in a um, coma. He was brain dead, but his heart was still popping. He was on a ventilator. Mm -hmm. um, the hospital called and told us that it was time for us to, you know, do something, whether we pull the club early in the morning and put it in the hospital. Right. So my fiance was like, um, no, no, you don't, you don't want to play God. You don't want to, you know, take him off. And his father always told him, son, don't let me be a vegetable. So we lived in this house while we had a I was in the back of the house. My fiance was in the front of the house on the phone with his best friend asking him what he should do. I didn't know they were having this conversation. It was about uh, 3, 45 ish by the time he came back to me. I was in the back smoking a cigarette all the way in the back of the house. It was a big, big, big maple tree. I don't know if it was a maple tree, but it was a really, really big tree. So we're speaking to each other. We're conversing. And he said, you know what, babe? I'm not going to play God. I'm not going to take my father off the ventilator. Like, he said he never wants to be on one. He don't want to be a vegetable. So I'm going to let him go. As he's speaking to me, <laughs> it was like this sound from like the pit of hell. It sounded like a whole bunch of screams coming out of the tree. And as the sound was coming, a big white bird, big, big white bird, mind you, it's like 3.45 in the morning. Big white bird comes flying up the tree. You just hear the clap of the wings. Then a wing, ever so gently, like sways from side to side, falls on the chair. The dog, we had a pit bull. She runs up, pees on herself, and just gets stuck. Mm. He tells me, my wife was like, hey, what are you doing? Get up. Go to the house. I said, I can't move. I'm stuck. He said, I'm stuck too. So we're both trying to <laughs> run in the house and we can't. Wait. Bottom line is, it was a very, very spooky incident. He did end up taking his father off the ventilator. And he lasted like a day, day and a half, and he ended up passing away not too long after that. Oh my! So goodness. that's my story. Oh my goodness! The big white bird. I would have already been done. Yeah, and then, <laughs> well, the crazy thing is, for whatever reason, my fiance wants to keep the wing because a wing from the bird fell off. Mm -hmm. so whatever kind of bird it was, and he kept the wing, and a whole bunch of spooky stuff kept happening. I said, you don't get rid of that damn wing. Right. Like, if you don't throw that shit away, for? okay, we're not. No, nope. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. I don't want no parts. Right. No I part. say. So, that's my story. Thank you so much for sharing Thank it. It's super juicy. You. Listen, I, they couldn't even move. Yeah. Not the dog. The dog, right? Hey. Dogs, they usually think they pit bulls regardless. No, and it, that was a pit bull. But it was uh, a pit bull. Still yeah. She's still there to pee on mm -hmm. herself. Animals don't got no veils. They well, like thank babies. You guys so much. Thank you so much. Love you down. Thank you for your support. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Later. You got some action, Noah. We yeah. Man. You got some action in they, your chat. They love you. Listen, they loving you tonight. I say they know I'm listen, I my vibrations are so high. I, I can't believe I'm initiating more. I'm here with my besties and we just having a good time. See Arlene showing me out. I should have did a hundred. And you know what? <laughs> Thank it you did, so it much, Arlene. I appreciate it. I, I love you down. Hey, like she, she, trail. she she's I feel like I've week. read with her before. Arlene, did I read you? I feel like I read her. I had a Arlene if it wasn't her. I think Chytrell is the one who uh, who yes. initiated George last week. I oh, think yes. so. Cy I think so. Chytrell. Oh, she yeah. she also said, listen. She coming back right she now? She said, listen. I think it was her. Correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. I, I don't I remember, but I appreciate five one eight six the George. Chats. 5186. 5186. Ch Chytrell. Star six to unmute yourself. Five one eight six. Caller, you are in the room. Thanks Hi for the guys. super chat. Hello. Hi. Sorry, I'm like a DJ right now. I got two computers, a tablet, my phone, <laughs> trying to keep up with everything. We appreciate but you. Congratulations, Miss Noah. Thank you so much. Oh, you're I'm so excited. Tomorrow. <laughs> yes, and this is Shy calling again hey, from North Carolina. Period. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi, Austin. Hello. Hey, George. <laughs> 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 so my story 
story is not about my gift or anything, but something did happen to me um, in college. Um, this was, I'm not going to say how many years ago that was, but it was a while ago. It was last year. We'll so, give you last year, right? It was last year. We're going to say that. <laughs> that sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, let's go with that. So um, I am, I don't remember if I was leaving school. Sorry. Just, okay. It's okay. So I don't know if I was leaving school or work, but I was leaving somewhere. And I was driving downtown, and the way I went, I don't even know why I went this way, but it was dark. It was probably like 12, 1 in the morning, and this street that I went down, it had a deep curve in the road. Mm. And I'm just blasting whatever song, and then, and then I see this tall, lanky man. It, it was the silhouette of a tall, lanky man. I could tell he had on some kind of long coat and a hat. And I'm staring at him because he's, like, right at the edge of the curb. And I'm mm-hmm. just like, because I've almost hit somebody before. Right. Not due to my driving, but No, due to just people, people just, just people. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm like, please don't jump out in front of me because I'm not slowing down. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm looking at him, and this is when I find out that Hat Man has a cousin. Um, <laughs> because I don't think this <laughs> I don't think this was the hat man. I didn't even know the hat man was right. a thing until I Not started. Right, cousin. You guys. <laughs> so I think it was his cousin because what happens scared the little shit. Well, not literally, but it scared the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I bend the curb, and all of a sudden, it's like his whole entire head just drops into his shoulders. Oh, wow. no. Mm-mm. And I'm like, I look in my rear view because I'm like, oh, fuck you tripping. Right. I look in my rear view, <laughs> and... It's still that silhouette, but the head is just like, so I'm just like, because I'm thinking, I'm trying to rationalize this in my mind. We always do. Because I'm like, maybe he just bent his head down, right. and you know, I can't <laughs> see his head. But it was like, you know how the show, if you're looking, the show is mm-hmm. straight across, and, but this was like a dip in the middle. Now, not speed up. But a small part of me is like, turn around. But a bigger part of me is like, don't be no dumb bitch. We going home. Right. So period. That's GTFO. All me. <laughs> <I listen to laughs> the... <laughs> but, you know, me being as smart as I am, I turn around. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so I turned around because I'm like, I am losing my mind. Yeah. So I turn around. I'm looking left to right. There's nothing there. There's mm-hmm. nothing there. And, and it's like an open... It's an open space, so I'm like, nobody, because I turned around pretty quick. I'm like, there's no way that somebody ran, because I'll see something. But it's just me and my little cavalier bumping music, scared right. out of my mind. So I don't know what that was. I don't even know how I slept that night, but that particular instance always stuck with me. because. And then I went down a rabbit hole of Google, mm-hmm. and I'm like, Greensboro, because Greensboro is like a college town, yes. and I heard we have a a haunted hotel here mm-hmm. and I'm I Googled couldn't find anything. It's hard to find legit paranormal stories online. Mm-hmm. But nothing about a headless man, nothing about that particular area. So I was like, okay. Hey listen that was the day that you, you bought the smartest and you know. said absolutely not. Let me I can look back. I'm not stopping. No, I'm don't not. stop. It's <laughs> what? Because what? Don't stop unless it's to look at George. Was that right? <laughs> yeah, huh? was that it wasn't George, unfortunately. Mm-mm. No, and Mr. Fresh was like, "Was that Baron, which is a uh, spirit, a deity?" Oh, okay. I'm like, nah. Well, maybe it he's could a, be. He's a prankster. Yeah, I mean, no, Papa Legba is more of the like trist, trickster type of spirit. Um, Baron would be the one to drop his head in his hand. I'm not gonna lie, it would be him if it was. But this is something more. Sp- more sinister. This is not a spirit of the Lua. This is like, that was, that's not like a D word. I'm sorry. There's so many D words and I know I keep pumping yeah. it to y'all, but that, that just, it don't seem worldly. It doesn't seem, Papa Legba and Baron Samadhi, they walked this earth. They were humans at one point. So they're spirits. I don't get that kind of energy from that. Mm-mm. That makes sense. Well, I don't know who, like, I ain't doing anything wrong, mm-hmm. but, and that's like the only time I took that way home. Yeah. I never did that shit again. Uh, but, exactly. <laughs> but it's just always, but I've never seen Hatman's cousin again. Never. <laughs> Hatman's cousin. Now you got to make a, uh, mm-hmm. You got to make some merch with the yeah. Hatman's cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. holding his head. What do we do for Hatman's cousin? <laughs> no, Hold his head. Him and his cousin. Yeah. T shirt. See? Okay. 
You didn't made up some new shit. One thing I do know is you got the gift of sight, honey. You didn't see some shit and experienced it. So we gonna just call it spade a spade. And yeah, just make sure you your protection is on. Make sure you protect oh, yourself. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, absolutely. you can see but that was things my that story, guys. you got it, girl. Thank you you for can calling see in. shit we can't see. Thank you so much for calling in both. You're You've been calling on a couple of weeks, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. I appreciate you. Yes. Y'all be blessed. You too. I appreciate you. <laughs> I remember I'm not you. George. <laughs> hey, I got a question for y'all. Yeah, yes. go ahead. All right, so I'm in your chat, right? Mm -hmm. But you are? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to understand what Shalina has against uh, George because she said bye, George. Uh huh. And what? Nice. Jo and George is my bestie over here, so what? you can't be talking about George. You talk about George, you talk about me. Wait, 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 Shalina, what's going on? I hey. need to get filled in on this. Why yeah. she, she kicking George out? She said it was nice to know him. I'm just. She if, said nice knowing. You better keep up. Listen, right. if if George goes, the show goes. Right. That, I, I can't disagree with that whatsoever. He's not Little just do behind, people know I have the power to end this for right real. now. For <laughs> real, he's behind the, like everything. If we kick him out, Shalina. Yes. If we say, hey, George, you're not a part of the cool club no more. You gotta go. I promise you. There's no the, show. The live stream would end. Right. And he Shalina, is, he's, he's filming. He's, he's filming. He's filming. So he's like, I want it. I need it. And Shalina, George, George looks like Thor with a beard. So yeah. imagine, yeah, but imagine Cuban. a Drake no, beard. No, that's a Cuban. A Drake Thor. beard, but Thor. Yeah, the but the Cuban, Cuban version. Yeah. He also gives a little Drake vibe too with the hat on. I see you over there. Oh. Certified <laughs> lover boy looking yeah. ass. Uh, so while we're getting ready for the next one, we have a super chat again from Crazy Cat Lady for uh, number three seven two seven. But while we're doing that, you guys broke Ape Water last week. We yes. haven't even mentioned them. Uh, we have been pulled back on our on our giveaway for this yeah. week, so we can only give away one case this week to the craziest story. Right? Yes, yes. Story. I think, and yes. I think we'll let. Uh, we're waiting for our guests to come in as well, but I think uh, Mr. Fresh might might need to pick yeah. that one. But uh, hey. so yeah, that is the deal with Ape Water, which you can check them out at your retail. You can check them out at apewater.com. Yeah. Um, but also, so I just looked. The merch store right now has free shipping oh. for the next few days. Oh, okay. So oh. check out the the merch store. We have. Um, Right now, we currently have the uh, Hat Man stuff, which I made, I made a few streams ago. I'm about to tell you to make Hat Man's cousin. He's holding his own head with a hat on. And a special shout out. Happy birthday, Leela J. I appreciate your support. Happy, happy, happy. Yes, happy birthday. Birthdays. So, George, do we have 3727? 3727. Star 6 <laughs> to unmute She's back. Yourself. She's back. She said, I got to... She's got more to tell us. Yeah, it's been a yes. I know, dude. It's it's been like been a Ashe, we appreciate the support and love. Three seven two seven star six to unmute yourself. Caller, you are in the I'm room. Back. Well, well, sorry. Welcome back. Welcome back. Sorry. Period. Thank well you. Done. Done. Announced herself. <laughs> I am back. <laughs> All right, so let me get into it. Yeah. Um, the beginning of 2019, I was dating this guy. We actually broke up right before the pandemic started. So. Um, when I met him, it was a year after his significant other had passed away. Mm. So we dated, and one night we went to the casino. We got so plastered, right? Mm -hmm. Took the Uber back to his place. I was gonna, we were gonna sleep it off, right? Right. Um, I was sleeping, and I woke up, and it was like, you know, when you wake up and you're half awake and you're half asleep. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, I'm still a little drunk, right? So I wake up and I see at the end of the bed, there's this woman standing at the end of the bed. Oh, I knew exactly who it was. I knew it was, I knew it was a significant other. I knew it. Mm. I, um, she like <laughs> raised her hand towards me and I was like, well, that's strange. <laughs> and I went right back to sleep. Right. Cause I was drunk. Right. Mm -hmm. So a couple mm -hmm. weeks later, right. He shows me a picture of her and I was like, Oh, I saw her. She's like, what are you talking about? I said, she appeared to me in your bedroom, right? <laughs> so he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, she appeared to me in your bedroom, right? And I said to him, I was like, can you please tell her not to visit me and visit you? Mm -hmm. So apparently, this is what he told me. <laughs> she passed away in that bed. Oh, my and gosh. I was sleeping on her side. I was sleeping on her side. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, girl. You think she was trying to tell me something? She went, she, she. <laughs> Drop she wasn't trying day. to be nice because she was like, I know you fucking lying. <laughs> Already? <laughs> you replaced me? Uh-oh. All right. Well, 
right. That's my story. Thank you so much. I'll be in the chat, you guys. <laughs> okay, that's probably okay. That was crazy. No, that was crazy. That doesn't surprise me. She said, if you don't get your ears up on my spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. She said, just know you keeping it warm for me. Yeah. But I'm still period. here. Period. <laughs> that, that's going to be me. If I go before my husband, I'm going to be like, all right, now. You ain't got to worry about nobody else getting in your bed. <laughs> period. Cause, New girl's um, gonna be like, man, I woke up and like I kept feeling my hair getting pulled like right. all night. I, I, Have you I've seen, seen my children? <laughs> they not gonna let nobody else get in that no, bed. I just no. met them today, but Listen. they seem like fine, young, upstanding children. Oh, you seen that? You seen that two hundred and sixty pound uh, fourteen year old? Wow, he man. not letting nobody get in the bed. Towers <laughs> over me. Period. That's my mama. You better. Yeah, he's. A, <laughs> but that doesn't Ma, surprise me. my bed. Me. Right. <laughs> but her story doesn't surprise me because she's literally laying in that lady's energy and in her space. Right. But I'm gonna need the ghost to take it up with her man, right? Like she would do in this life. Because who told you? To bring me to a bed and bed me probably in a bed that your ex passed, expired, died. You can't die in my bed and I'll get rid of it. <laughs> Period. Like, why? Like the one at the Haunted Museum? The one where Lamar Odom OD'd on it and then the owner of the Bunny Ranch died on it. Uh, and now it's at the... Shut now, up. No, for real, it's there. For real? It's there. Yeah, for real. At, at the, the Haunted at Museum. The, at the joint on Main? Or no? Yeah, on uh, uh, Charles. Is Charles, that, yeah, it's Charleston the, but the Zach yes. Baggins Museum, yeah, they have it there. For real? Yeah, mm. it's the same. It has stains on it and everything. Lamar was getting it in on. <laughs> no, he was. No, OD'd he OD'd on, on it. Remember, I mean, he overdosed. It was a brothel, so he was getting it in on that bed before no, he died. No, no, oh wait, oh yeah, that's right. It was at the allegedly, allegedly. But why was the why was the owner <laughs> why was the owner on the same bed that Lamar? OD'd that's on? weird. He was trying to die on a bed that got died on. No, I think, uh -huh. he was, I think he was being frugal. He was, he was saving his money. How many beds there did he have no at a brothel? Way. I'm just that, saying. First of all, it's a brothel. But, uh, he, but those are for the customers. So why yeah, was so he why on a bed? Why would you ever do that? Because he said, oh, we can't. He's like, I'm not going to get rid of this mattress and buy a new one. I'll just keep it. No, he was sampling the goods. Uh, that's weird. It's all weird. And for those who are lost, the Bunny Ranch here in Nevada. <laughs> it's like okay. an hour from here. It's like an hour from here, and it's legal prostitution. My grandparents live like 10 minutes from it. Right. So you've been It's there legal before. prostitution. I haven't and been there, but I've driven by it a ton. Have you seen the documentary from back in the day, or is that above your age? That, you know what? I don't it's so good. I'm not going to age I'm myself sorry. here. I'm not going <laughs> to age the fine people. <laughs> I'm a millennial. I remember on HBO, they had their own documentary, and I, I was yeah, blown George? away. I should not oh, have been watching trust it. Trust me, bro. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I see Cat that. House on HBO. I it was, that, it was, that was reality TV, raw, uncut, and highly. And quite literally raw. It was raw. And I was in high school, and I should not have been watching that YouTube, but that's what goes on in Las Vegas. Hey, the reason, me having unfiltered access to TV and internet is the reason why we have yeah. Bizarre Junkies today, Hello. okay? See? It, it was all for a good cause. Yeah. George, who do we have next? Uh, Rando selection here. Nine zero. 076 or 2076 2076 remember you're gonna press star six to unmute once you get the prompt from the the uh, phone number from zoom it's gonna tell you host has asked you to unmute 2076 star six to unmute yourself we have got the callers filling up today we do hello caller you are in the room hi can you hear me yes, yes. hey love hi i just want to say congratulations noah Thank you so much. Every time someone says congratulations, I get a little teary eyed. It's been a long journey. <laughs> yes. Very much deserved, I'm sure. Thank you. All right. Um, I just want to say hi to Bizarre Junkies. I'm a huge fan of both of you guys. You Noah, know, I comment and share and like every video you post. Thank you. Thanks for being a real You're one. You're welcome. Yeah, I try. <laughs> All right, so I'm from a small town uh, just below Charlotte, North Carolina. I live in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Um, I lived in what we call the projects of my town when I was younger. Mm -hmm. um, I lived in an apartment complex. Two women had been that lived like across from me and below her had been playing with the Ouija board. Oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this is where my story starts. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so like I said, I was seven at the time and my stepdad and the man that lived below us were known for drinking moonshine um mm -hmm. that summer and my stepdad had passed out in the vehicle when we went to go get dinner that night my little brother i'm seven years older than him so he was an infant at the time 
Um, we went and got our food, come back home, and my mom was like, get out of the car very quietly. Help me get your brother. Help me get the food. Let's get in the house. Let's mm. not wake him because right. he would tend to be mean and abusive, mm. that sort of thing. So um, during the night, she kept coming through my window, looking out in the parking lot at our Mustang where he was asleep, passed out. And at one point, he was gone. And my mom was like, oh, crap, you know, stuff's about to pop off. He's gone. By that time, the phone rings. It's his mom who lived in the front section of the apartment. We lived in the back section. And um, sorry, that was my little girl hollering. Are you fine? Sick. We've all had the flu. Yeah, my um, kids too anyway, for the most part. <laughs> oh, man, it's been rough. It's been a rough week. Mm. Anyway, long story short, um, his mom called and said, you know, Keith stumbled through the past. Um, you need to get down here. Something's wrong. So... Um, my mom takes off, me being the nosy little mm-hmm. seven-year-old I was, I take off right behind her and follow her through the woods. It's one, two o'clock in the morning at this point. And we get there, and Mary's like, why did you bring her? She can't see this. And my mom's like, you know, I I didn't know she was coming. She snuck behind me, you know. Mm-hmm. And we go into the apartment, and Keith is possessed. <laughs> What? I say that lightheartedly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, excuse it's me. Not, <laughs> it, it's, it's a trauma response, I guess. Right. It's the best way that I can describe mm-hmm. it because um, I've been through therapy for years behind this. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, long story short, uh, he was like getting, like, he, they were putting like holy water on him and I could watch his skin sizzle and like welt up in blisters. And, I can remember him having, like, the demonic voice, his eyes rolling back at his head, the smell of rotted meat, the whole nine. Like, they had to, at one point, they had to restrain him on the pullout bed. It was a couch in the living room. And they restrained him. I don't remember how they done it because they shoved me in the bedroom and shut me in the bedroom so I couldn't see what was going on. Um, The night ended by the preacher, like, the priest. We have a local oratory in our town, and they called the priest to come out. And, like, they couldn't do what needed to be done. Like, it was too powerful for them. It wouldn't release its name. Mm -hmm. Um, So they ended up having to call higher up to come out. And we're Baptists. We're from the South. Right, right. Um, So calling another, you know, calling the Catholic Church is just something unheard of in our town. Yeah. (laughs) You know, but there was something that no Baptist, no, they would not touch him. (laughs) Oh it was that goodness. bad. Well, thank you so I, much for calling you. in. That's, I, I don't even know how to I don't, process yeah, that one. I thought the last Look, one was crazy yeah. with the girlfriend that was deceased, but we don't get many I calls. I going, in the chat, I was going to take yeah. the cake. Listen, we don't get many um, calls that include actual possession. Yes. Look, that is my crazy. bed levitated a couple nights later after it was all over oh, and okay. whatever left here. Ma'am. Oh, <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Everybody's mouth is like, we're all like, I was seven years old. When I look, whatever it, whatever it was is still out there in those apartments. There was a child that died in 2018 there, um, under mysterious circumstances, whatever. I haven't been there since I was little. We moved out right after this happened. Shit, and whatever it is, is still out there. <laughs> I don't blame y'all. I never went back in my room after that night. Like, after my bed levitated, my mom come in, the bed hit the floor, I went out of that room and Mm-mm. never went back in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Thank yep. you so much for sharing. That was tea, <laughs> baby. Welcome. That was <laughs> That was tea. That was, uh, that was, uh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh-oh, she want her case of water. She said, uh uh-huh. Yeah, so, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for calling in. That was that was crazy. Um, All right, so real quick. You we, guys have a good night. You too. Before that, though, if you could let our guest uh-huh. in. Our guest is here. I got you. Uh, is yeah. he here? George is, yes, he is outside. <laughs> I want to give him a proper introduction. I know. Um, I love his pieces. Five foot eight. <laughs> hey, Weighing a hundred pounds soaking wet. <laughs> We got oh, Mr. Gosh, Producer gotta... Franny. We got Franny going? in the building. So What's for going? those of you who don't know, Franny is a producer here on Bizarre yes. Junkies. He is the most vital part of our reaction show. Yeah. He is the thank man you, behind you. the scary. 
Yes. If if you will. Yes. And he you got a haircut. I did. did. Okay, so if you guys which I know you guys have watched the other shows, he is the one I gave the tarot card reading to back mm-hmm. in November, the day before like Thanksgiving. He may or, or may not yeah. have cried that time. He may yeah. or may not have gotten a but little bit. But you would have to go back and watch the first one to yeah. see. Yeah. Yep. You guys go back and watch my tarot reading with my good friend Franny. How have you been? I've been good. What about you? I've been good. Yeah. Yeah, Franny, what did you bring for us today before we yes, get to the next call? I, you always bring gifts. What is it? Um, well, I mean, I found some ape water. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey. Hey. Um, And I brought these two uh, skull masks that I made. I'm a sculptor Le- and yes, make very talented. All sorts of fun stuff. Thank you. Thank you. My kids are in the green room. Yeah, car- two of yeah. them are in the green room. And I told him you were coming. I'm like, you know, he does sculpting special mm-hmm. effects and he's like the things that because our daughter in, he's watches in, a lot of that kind of stuff our son's in and stuff like that too mm-hmm. so yeah. kai this is what i was telling you telling you about yeah shout, out kai. Yes. shout out kai <laughs> we'll, we'll do a, a powwow quick meeting after all of this absolutely because it was a, their treat today to bring them in and they're you know yeah they're in them. the green room i'm glad you were able yeah. to bring them they yeah. seem very uh very shy, which is funny. It's, I don't it's, know why they <laughs> run me up a wall at home. Our and they kids know are you. humble. They're humble though. Yeah, they are. They, they seem like great kids. So yes. I mean, I can't be, I can't be mad at Those you there. But babies. we got Franny, and Franny's gonna join us. This is something we want to try to do going forward, where we start having uh, mm-hmm. guests here on the call-in show. Yes. I know we have some big ones in the works. We have some other yes. ones in the works. Yes. Yes. As yes. if George already isn't enough. I know. Oh, cool. He's the star of the show. It's the George show. This is the George Colin show. Let's be real here. Every time I say it. George, I should say, take it off. Take it off. <laughs> take it off. The, no. If the super chat amount is right. Oh, oh gentlemen. my God. Ooh. Oh, my God. Well, uh, I mean, it depends on whose chat you're looking at, because they're a blessing, yeah. Miss Black Cauldron today. I, I George said it ain't y'all. tricking if you get it. Yes. <laughs> I, I love y'all down. Thank you so much for donating towards the cause. All all the super chats and everything else that just proves like my following is amazing yes. to me. They love me too much. I, I wouldn't I, say I, I wouldn't so, say too much. Uh, yeah, no. Let me quit playing. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. Like it's amazing. Um. So really quick, there is a super chat, five dollar super chat from Leah Ayers. Uh, we're yes. still trying to work on getting your last four digits, but when you, we do get those, we'll add you in. We had another super chat caller from Tay Tay, ten dollars. Hey, one hey, girl. four three nine one four three nine one four three nine. And then after that, we got four two three eight. That's FMA. Yes. The reason why it's taking me so long is there is a lot of callers I was about to in say, here right now. Look at all of those calls. So remember, like it that. is completely oh, free to call, but if you want to skip the line, you can do so for $5 for three minutes or $10 for five minutes. You can yes. skip the line. You can super chat that to either the Bizarre Junkie channel or the Black Cauldron channel. And then you have to add the last four of your phone number. We're not psychic. Yeah. Oh, they're like sage <laughs> everythings. Okay, oh, y'all. He brought, he brought yeah. in this. <laughs> all right. So let me just tell you. So there's certain things, and this is a learning lesson, and like I said, I teach a lot on Patreon. These are ethically sourced. Those little the things that they brought in that belong to the serial killer Oh, yeah, not. no, absolutely. He made these from hand. I made these with love. Yes, he made love. it. probably was just, what, like clay or even yeah, powder so, starting off. Yeah, clay, and then, I mean, I have black foam in the back of them now, but it's just plastic. Yeah. So I, I, I pour it. And he made yeah. them like with baking. love. He made them with love, not yeah. ill yes. intent. Yeah. Yes, no, he's not a serial killer, y'all. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> you don't have to a worry. Lot of you guys weren't here from the original, so you'll, yeah. if you go back to the very, very first first call-in show you'll see friends yeah was or it wasn't a call-in it, oh, it was, was like a, a reaction live show then. it was or, a live yeah. show it was the last live yeah. show of the year we did it was in november okay. it was actually the day before thanksgiving mm-hmm. okay i remember yeah i remember one yeah. four three yeah, so nine friendly, star six to mute <laughs> yep are you there one oh, four she's got a, they've three got a nine. angel number 1919 oh <laughs> one four three nine star six to unmute yourself And then same with FMA. If you can super chat your... Well, they don't have to I super chat. <laughs> okay. I have to put another... <laughs> uh, no, no, no. My bad. Not super chat. Uh, 4238. I'm going to bring in 4238. Tay, Tate, when you get this, just know you're next in line. 4328. Mr. Fresh. 4328. You are in the room. Hello. 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 Yes. Hey, love. Hi. Hi. How are Could you? Could you mute your TV for us, please? I'm good. Okay. Yes, I will. 
Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. Don't. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Whenever we people go. say they're nervous, they usually have a really good story. Don't let us down. Come on now. Come with it because yes, I know you got I some do. tea. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just start with it a little background. I just always been really sensitive to like paranormal stuff. Mm -hmm. And I got a million stories, but I would just go tell two short stories. Mm -hmm. So the first one is, well, I, I used to have sleep paralysis as a kid. And it stopped like around when I was probably like a teen. But I, I got pregnant when I was mm -hmm. 24. And one night, when y'all keep having stories about the hat, man, I'm just like, I'm glad I know I'm not crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> because I was asleep and I ended up having sleep paralysis, but my eyes were open. Mm -hmm. And when I looked over, it looked like somebody, like, you know, if your leg would be propped up on the wall mm -hmm. and their head was down, it was like a black silhouette. And I swear, it just, it like karate chopped me. <laughs> oh, my, <laughs> In my goodness. Throat. Like for real. Not chopped so you in the throat. For <laughs> real. I could not breathe. I was so scared. Yeah. But what like when I had it when I was a kid, it wasn't that intense. And whenever I became pregnant, I started it started like being mm -hmm. intense a lot because you know, you gotta stop like drinking, mm -hmm. smoking, doing all that mm -hmm. stuff. So it became more intense. And I just remember being like, Lord, this this helped me. Right, yes. <laughs> help me. Yeah, you know, pregnancy I was dreams like, are my the worst. Spirit God Hurt. helped me, mm -hmm. and it did end up going away. Mm -hmm. But that traumatized me so much. I, I'm just glad that I haven't had a bad sleep paralysis like that yeah. since that day. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, my so sleep paralysis is story, terrible when I was pregnant. Terrible. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is bad. And then the second story was in the same apartment, really quick. My uh, cousin, I lived there with my cousin, and she she was like a night out, so she'll come in throughout the night, leave. Mm -hmm. But that particular day, I was like in the sleep, and I heard somebody unlock the door, come upstairs, and then come downstairs and leave back out. But then that morning, I'm like, oh, she, uh, she might have came back home, or, you know, I was expecting – her to be there back home. So I called her and I'm like, I thought I thought you came in back last night. And she was like, no, I was gone the whole night. And I was like, are wow. you for real? Wait a minute, like, wait a minute. Uh, Y'all be stressing me out. See, I, what'd she say? I'm nervous. Yeah, and then, uh -huh. <laughs> and then comes in and Come just on. like, guess what? Right, I got heat. <laughs> Oh my gosh! See, yes, people like, be thinking I have all these like so extravagant much. like experiences. No, y'all be having the real. Experiences. We just we just report on what you guys tell us. It's for real. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm like I'm just glad like this show made me realize like I'm glad I'm not crazy. Nope. because I got so many stories. Nope. Welcome home. Welcome us, home. Uh, the, the weirdos <laughs> of the world because people always think we're. We're different, and we are, because we see some shit. We yeah, they think I'm making shit. it up. I'm like, I promise you, it's real. It's mm -hmm. real. I'm not making it up. And yeah. It's like you experience. You mm -hmm. can't explain it, and you know it's not fake. You know. No. no. And that's why a lot for a long time I kept my shit to myself. I was going to sleep doctors and everything for sleep paralysis. And whenever I was pregnant, it was even worse. It was, it was bad. Yes, it I dreamed was. I gave I birth to a blue crazy. headless snake. Whoa. <laughs> oh what? <my> <laughs> I was so scared when I woke up. I said, Lord, does this mean my baby gonna be ugly? Like what's going <laughs> on? It scared me. I didn't know what was what, but it doesn't surprise me. It amped up and then, but that other stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for your call. We really appreciate you super chatting yes. and calling yes, in tonight. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you all for hearing me. Absolutely. Have a good night. Thank you. You, you as well. Uh, George, so Leia uh, Iyer's the one who super chatted. She is, responded. Yep, 2076. Well, we got Tay-Tay Tay first. I'm going to try Tay-Tay. Okay, Maybe let's go back time. to Tay-Tay. Yeah. Star 6 to unmute yourself. Uh, give me one sec here to find last four digits. Let me scroll up and see if I can find Tay-Tay real 1439. quick. 1439. 1439. You guys are going crazy tonight. It is yeah. arguably the biggest show we've had. I pray, but I prayed to the Orishas before I came in. You here. did. You did. You I said, us. "Come on, make it easy." 
Bring them in. And Franny's and, here. So what you expect? Yeah, I mean, we got <laughs> Franny, Franny, we got George. George. I mean, we got shirtless George. Franny with the fresh cut. Yeah, I mean, well, he's not shirtless <laughs> yet. We haven't hit the threshold yet. I don't know what the threshold is. George only knows. But. <laughs> that is true. I, I hold the key. Oh, uh, star six to unmute yourself. I don't know if the dial pad's popping up for you. I'm gonna give you a little bit of time here, but if not. We come, on, can, come on, Tay Tay. I know. I always feel bad. Then they go in the mm-hmm. comments. They're like, I couldn't unmute myself. And I'm like, ah. Yeah. So when I when I called in a couple weeks ago, what happened with me is I had, so I was watching on YouTube while mm-hmm. on the phone at the same time. So I'm juggling back and forth. Mm-hmm. And it honestly was, it was pretty difficult. I had a whole different like dial thing yeah. open up. I don't even know how, but really? I, yeah, I had to switch back in the phone app to press star i'm about to call in and see because i i'm a little i I did it when we first ran it like before and i was like Mm -hmm. oh this works fine but were you using app uh or just a regular like just right just a regular like i just called from my phone and i I don't know if maybe it would have been easier with the zoom app okay i didn't have the zoom app oh you didn't we'll see well real quick y'all uh anybody who's tuned in on 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 noah's youtube I just posted a link. Um, we have the link for the Bizarre Junkie uh, merchandise. So yes. if you guys want to support Austin and the Bizarre Junkie uh, podcast, then please click yes. on that link. You know, Thank feel you. free to buy coffee mugs. You know, we coasters, whatever they get. Hat yeah. man. T- we have we have the Hat Man stuff. We have the Bizarre Junkies mm-hmm. logo. We have a cool one I made last Halloween. But right now, until the twentieth, there's free shipping. Oh, Boom. that's even more better. Boom, free shipping. Yeah. So free shipping. And if you guys buy enough products, we can get George to take his shirt off. <laughs> and we're Maybe working that's... on it. I think we want to start or we're going to try to make some uh, calls from beyond. Yes. No, we well. absolutely will. Um, yeah. 100%. Yeah, 100% we will. Definitely okay. hats, because I'm tired of wearing them head scarves. Some days I just, <laughs> listen, I'd rather just come in here with a ball cap. I don't think we're going to get Tay-Tay. You know, there's a cocktail yeah. next to Tay-Tay's name, so I don't know. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. We drinking? I, I don't know if Tay-Tay was sipping, you know? Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on. Uh, 2076. Leah. Star six to unmute yourself. Remember, Caller, you, guys... you are in oh, the room. Hello. Here we go. Uh-oh. Hello. Hello. There you are. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Good. I'm the one that told the story. I'm Leah. I'm the one that told the story about my stepdad being possessed. But oh. you guys said that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Y'all still, hold, y'all still have me on hold. Something got cut off at the end. Oh. Oh, I think I think what happened was um, we ran out of time. Oh, okay. On the, on Did the we first run out initial of time? call. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Wait. Did she come back? Yeah, she's still she's here. She's still here? Okay. Oh, she left. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Leah, you, you super chatted. We still have Yes, your... we wanted you to come yeah, back and tell yeah, us yeah. the rest you, or tell us a new one. Yeah. 2076. Right. <laughs> He's like, wait, don't leave. Come back. Come back. I feel like Rose from uh, Titanic. Yeah, yeah. Titanic. Come she back. Come back. <laughs> she held on all that time. Yep, just like Rose. I think Leah get another story. Yes. I know. Did you guys ever see the the thing and it showed that there was definitely enough room for two people? Yes. Oh yeah. Absolutely. She was I, so I selfish. Every time. I should l- listen. I would have knocked her off. Like, come on now, man. <laughs> like, help me out. Gotta it over. <laughs> There's no way I'm about to die. <laughs> Uh-uh. It doesn't help that she threw this, the diamond away. Yes. After they, the fact. And they were searching for it. She was such a narcissist <laughs> in that matter. Like, why would you do that? You yeah. threw away the diamond and you killed me. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. I think that was Kiki Palmer that was like, there was definitely room on that door that they yeah. were playing. Yeah. Most definitely. Enough room. Yeah. Tay Tay said something, didn't want me to tell that story. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. That's deep. That's deep. Uh-oh. Listen, okay. you know I don't believe in coincidences. So if you feel like spirit is like, well, you know what the, you know what what's her name said last week. I'm just saying. Yeah, we mm-hmm. we definitely remember what we heard last. And week. now Franny's mm-hmm. here, so something may be a little bit elevated. Uh-oh. It's not his mask, y'all. Don't be don't be doing my <laughs> friend, okay? Yeah, they're like <laughs> it's the masks. Like, they conspiracy theorists and spiritists like me. I think everything is uh, suspicious. It's not the mask. Yeah. I promise. <laughs> Star okay. Six isn't working now that Franny's here. Uh, right. Oh my goodness. Let's see if three one six six. Our lucky caller, thank mm. you for waiting so patiently. Yes, 3166, thank you. Yeah. star six to unmute yourself. Three one six six. 
3166. Caller, you are in the room. Hi, can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> okay. Hi, sorry. Um, all right. I think this is, I've called in a couple of times, so I think I have a couple short ones to tell you guys today. Go no ahead. Um, so I was telling you guys before how I live in, or I used to live in an area called Vanport. Um, mm. and so like I used to often hear, I didn't know it at first. I just thought it was like, you know, apartment living, you hear mm-hmm. everything. Right. Um, but so like I was started hearing like voices in the air above me mm. and I was like, Oh, that's interesting. Once I figured out that it wasn't coming from like the apartment above me, <laughs> it was mm-hmm. just like in the space. It's just in the space. Above yeah. Me. Um, I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. It was more like chatter. It wasn't, sometimes I can make out what they were saying, but most of the time, no. Um, and so uh, that kind of led in. I told you guys before about me having a conversation with my mom and her seeing the face pop through her blog, I mean, right. her um, curtain as we were on the phone talking. Um, but, but so like, uh we lived there for a while and at the time I was married. And so like, I would tell my ex-husband like, Hey, the door handle was jiggling. Mm -hmm. And so we had two young kids at the time. So I was thinking my kids are playing at the door Mm -hmm. and my son liked to peek through the cracks of the doors when he was younger. Yeah. My kid likes that (laughs) too. And so like, I just, I just thought that there was sin. So like one day I'll pull the door open like hella fast. Like I'm gonna catch him. Mm-hmm. And nobody was there. And I was like, <laughs> okay, cool. This mm-hmm. is not cool. Because I grew up in a house that I already told y'all about the house. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, so I'm like, okay. So I eventually I tell him, like, hey, um, the door handle was jiggling. Like, I came out of the bathroom thinking that, you know, <laughs> you were messing with me or one of the kids was messing with me. At the bedroom door, like you got to walk out of the bathroom door to get to the bedroom door. So, like, I heard, heard it. Mm-hmm. And it was like, no, okay, you're tripping, you're tripping. And then finally, one day, he was like, oh, uh, yeah, the door handle was jiggling. <laughs> but so, I was here by myself. He's mm-hmm. like, too. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I, right. I told you. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> scared in the house, low key. So, <laughs> So one day I had heard some stuff going on outside the bedroom. So my kids at that point had had two separate rooms. And um, so I walk out. It was enough to make me walk out and see what was going on. Um, And I walk out and I'm standing between my daughter and my son's room, but I'm looking directly at my daughter and right over my shoulder, I hear her voice and she's knocked out sleep. But I hear her voice and like a low key, like you woke me up. What do you? What's up? Like, and she just says, "Mom." Like, you know, you wake mm-hmm. up rolling over. Like, oh, what man. you doing in here? Mm. And I was like, "What the?" Because I'm looking <laughs> at her. <laughs> she sleeps. She sleep. Like what? Oh my god. Yeah, that gave me the heebie Oh, that just gave me the um, chills. And, <laughs> and then one time, also, my husband had been gone out of town for a while due to some family emergencies and I'd gone in my bathroom one day and there were two handprints on my mirror one looked like it could have been my hand but the other one was huge like Mm. a man sized hand Mm -mm. and there were no other spots it was like it was and I was like Mm -mm. "Uh." nope see Throw the whole house away. Uh, yep. Throw the whole house away. Thank you so yes, much thank for, you for your sharing. Call. I would have been done. Oh, man. Shout out <laughs> to... You. Uh, you're welcome. Shout out to Jay. Is it Ivy? This is their first super. The fourth? I think maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe the fourth. Probably. I don't maybe know. That was their first super Woo! chat. Yay! Yay! Appreciate you down. Their number and is... Uh, 5483. 5483. Yeah. And I know Tay-Tay... Tay-Tay and uh, Leah said they were going to try to call back to see okay. if they could get through. 
Okay. Okay. Yes. I remember, please. I please remember do. two zero seven six. You. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Leia. Leia. All right. I'm I'm admitting her. But Best for our last super chat caller, let me give that a quick little Is she round from of applause. Oregon? Eh? Hey. Last call. I think we're gonna start incorporating that on live, like you know, yeah, the super chat. You we're, were in the room. So. Is All right, I'm back. It's Leah. Welcome back. Yeah, okay. I call you Leah. I apologize for that. No, it's okay. I just didn't know if my time had run out because when I'm talking to you guys, I can't see the YouTube app because I'm on my uh, phone. Gotcha. So, yeah. I mean, George, you want to play that sound really quick? This isn't the actual <laughs> timer, but I mean, so when you hear this, this means it's time to start wrapping it up. Can you hear that? No. Oh, they, uh, may, they may not be getting it, George. No, I don't think they are. Yeah, I don't think... Interesting. I don't hear. Oh, I can see it on the app. Like when we're watching the video, you can hear it when you guys play it. But gotcha. Not right. okay. okay, that makes. We'll sense. figure this out. Thank we you may, for letting us know. Yeah, yeah. thank you for yeah. letting us know. We may just have to give you an actual like, hey, you got a minute left. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kind of thing. Gotcha. Give a thirty second count. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So y'all want another paranormal story? Of course. <laughs> we're open oh, yeah. to of anything course. you give us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this one is about my stepmom. God rest her soul. We lost her last year. Um due to complications with um, COVID. Um, but let's see, my daughter is seven now, and this is before I had her. So this was about nine years ago. Um, well, 10 years ago. It was right after I lost my dad. Um, so my stepmom in her younger days, she's um, Catawba Indian and um, dabbled in what she used to call dark magic. Mm. Um yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Thank God that was before she was with my dad, so I right. didn't. I I didn't have no part of that. Um, I just know that she used to claim to like make the weather change. Like when when we took my daughter to the beach for the first time, um, there was mm. a big storm that had come to the coast, and the storm like completely missed us at the beach, but it flooded in my hometown um and then there was all these crows that were here it was really weird when we come back to town like it looked like a hurricane had come through even though there wasn't a hurricane that came through weird type of stuff but anyway back to the story when when um right after my dad died um she had been going through a lot of um mental illness and trying to get her medications mm -hmm. right that sort of thing she was in a dark place. She was by herself. You know, my sister at the time was 15 and um, my husband now, we were in bed one night and my sister called me crying. And, um, she lives in the next town over. It's about a, 30, a 20 minute drive from my house. And she's like, sissy, I need your help. And I said, what's wrong, Jasmine? She said, um, mom's barking like a dog and like growling at us and like, come help me. She's 15, so I take off. And mm. when I say us, she was talking about her and her high school boyfriend, which they're married and they have a son now. Um, so I drive to the town. And my husband, before I leave, he makes me take a, um, like a Bible and a cross and, mm. you know, holy water, that sort of stuff with me. And I go over there. And my sister takes a picture of my, mom, my stepmom who's sitting in the recliner. And there was like a hellhound that like a full on black picture like I mean it was so vivid in the picture that she took that was above my stepmom's head and then about that time they lived in a trailer and you could hear all around the trailer you could hear like dogs scratching on the door mm -mm. trying to get in the house nope and so I <laughs> the only thing I needed to do was from what I had saw when I was little I started trying to call the oratory <laughs> like, get somebody out here because right. um uh, I don't know what to do, mm -hmm. um, but she seriously. This lasted for hours, and we got the we got the local priest to come out, and I don't know what he did. He asked us to come out of the room, out of the house. Like by the time he got there, it was daylight, of course, like because all this happened like three, four o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning, and wow. um, whatever he did, he did something, and you could hear mm -hmm. her screaming and hollering, and then he told us to come back in, and she was. She had no recollection of what happened. So, wow, mm. is yeah. that our second possession? I think so. And Story one night, <laughs> and I think, I think second ever too. I don't think yeah. we've had any before tonight. I think she wants her case of. Uh, hey, they're listen. making it hard today. They're okay, making, yeah. yeah, a little. I'm making a little. Coin. Right, we mm -hmm. may have to.
like four times to see who makes it. It's a bracket at this point. I mean, there was, there was super chat twice on one, one night. That's yeah. That's she, yeah. She, I think I'm, she I'm, have edging, I'm edging towards the the double super chat. Yeah. But real sure. quick, so I know uh, Leah and Tay Tay are back. Or yes. that was Leah, but yes. Tay Tay is back in the queue. Okay. Um, I just wanted to say real quick that you have Max Store. Yes, who is commenting out. and saying that you are her light. I love uh, you so much. Thank shout you, out to Max. all the little, the, the little uh, people of the world, the little Noahs that are watching. The little Noahs. The little Noahs. Yes, my little Noah. Mac, Max Star is, yeah. That's that's my baby. Thank you. I love you down, and um, yeah, I do it for you, boo. <laughs> Tay Tay, we're trying to hit you one more time. Here we go. All right, here we go. Star six to un- oh eight. Tay Tay is in the room. Oh, she is not playing. Yeah. She is not playing. Shout out Tay Tay. Hey Noah, I love you. Thank and you. And I just joined your Patreon, and I love it there. And oh, congratulations, my patrons. They knew first before anybody that I was oh, going to initiate. Yeah, I was in the chat. I'm like, y'all want to know a secret? Because it came <laughs> off like super random that my initiation was going to happen tomorrow. So I love you, down. Thank you so much. Okay, so my story is about this dream I had last mm-hmm. night. Oh, so recent. I was getting ready to leave my house, and I opened the door, and spider. And spiders' webs are everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, nope, I don't do spiders. Mm -hmm. So I close the door, and I go to the back, and it's a giant snake on my porch. So it leaves, and it's like in the grass, it's watching. So I go to my neighbor's house because I know, like, she's a worker. So I go, and I'm like, a lot of strange stuff is going on. And then I just start throwing up, like, I threw up a bunch of, like, bugs, and then I threw up, like, three straight pins, a keychain. Random stuff, right? And (laughs) just random stuff. So I'm telling her the story, and I look, and I see that the keychain that I throw up, she has it on her keys. So Mm. I was like, yeah, no, I'm leaving. And I go to leave, and it's like a lizard on her porch watching me, and it's just changing colors. Mm. So I say, no, I'm calling my husband. So he comes and everything leaves, but the snake is watching us go home. Mm. And then I open the front door and there's no spice. Mm. And then I woke up because I was like, yeah, no, that's crazy. No, yes, <laughs> that that's scary. And the fact that you yeah. were throwing up like random stuff, that has happened to me in a few dreams. I know. <laughs> no, it wasn't even that I was throwing up. I threw up sulfur in a dream, and y'all know what, what? that means. Oh, I don't know what that means. What does I, it mean? It tastes like spoiled milk, and Oof. that's that's the D word activity. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, okay, but right. I told you about my dream where I had slits in my feet, and I was pulling. This was <laughs> recent, and yes. it had something to do with me, f- yes. which I made me feel even more uneasy. I mean... I'm not that fake Mm -hmm. friend that'd be like, oh, I had a dream about you. I'm not going to tell you what it is. He was talking to me Mm -hmm. in the dream, and I was pulling something like these threads, like ribbons of gunk out of these slits in the top of my feet. And he was talking to me. I'm like, I can't I can't hear you. I don't know what's going on. I can't hear you. And he pulled out something or I pulled out what looked like a pig face. Like a little pig face, and me and you had a conversation. Of what we did I have inter- a conversation. Interpret, and then as soon as I saw it, I was like, "I can hear you." And he was like, "Yeah, that was pretty fucking weird, you know." And I'm like, "Yeah, it was." <laughs> I mean, I just pulled gunk out of my the slits of my feet that are not supposed to be there. So I take anything like throwing up random stuff, um, pulling random items out of your body as like a sign. So yeah. yeah. And then all my teeth fell out, like, oh, oh no. Oh, no. no. So like, oh, no. <laughs> That's a collective, oh, no. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, wait, you're on so Patreon. Can you please message me in the chat so I can know who you are? What's your screen name on there? So I can thank you. Yes. Thank you. You know what chat I'm talking about, right? On Patreon? Yes. Okay. All right. So I have another weird dream too. Y'all like UFO stories. Oh hey, yeah, yeah, we love oh, that. Yeah. We got George hey. clapping in the back. So I, <laughs> so I woke up and I saw three light people standing around me. One by my head, mm. two, one on each side. Mm-mm. So I asked, like, 
who are y'all and where y'all from? And they told me, but I can't remember. So I was like, oh, cool. Can I go? And they looked confused, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what? Then they said, no, we'll be back for you. So what? I woke Dang. up in another dream trying to figure out who they were. Uh huh. And then something like woke me up for real. Like, yeah, you, mm-hmm. you're getting too close. So mm-hmm. I was like, yeah. Ooh. Uh, listen isn't that the worst whenever you think you're like you go into one dream one weird dream into the next well if you dream you know it's so I annoying hate dreaming. i love it but i hate it too i hate it i'm not in control and then like what's worse is like you wake up from a bad dream and you're like i don't want to go to bed now because i'm just gonna go right back right into it. no that happens to me a lot people that experience sleep yeah. paralysis have that issue where they will literally wake up Go back to sleep and go back in the same fucked up dream. God damn it. Uh, yeah. Try to beat it. And, 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 but it was crazier. Yes. But what's crazier is if you lucid dreams, you do have control over your yeah. dream. Or like sometimes it frustrates me because in my dream, I'm like, okay, I know I'm asleep, but I'm not going to say that out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell anybody in this dream. You know that you're, you know, yeah. dreaming. You keep it on the low. Right. So it's super annoying whenever you have one creepy dream and then like, dive into the next yeah so and then good. you're like I, I can i just wake up yes can i please just, i don't i want to be done i don't want this anymore Stop the freaky it. part was was them saying they'll be back for me yes, yes. Oh my. They were what saying, do you not mean? right now but we'll be back sir <laughs> but you know what earth is so ghetto i'm a i need a vacation <laughs> so let's go earth as a collective I said, can I go? Can right I go take too? me with you <laughs> Thank you so much for yes, sharing. Yes, thank you for the call. Oh, thank you. And yes, thank you for the and super chat. Yes, thank you Please, thank you. And don't forget to message me in our Patreon um, messages, like our group chat, so that I know who you are. I appreciate you. I just did. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. Thank You're welcome. You as well. Talk to you later. So, George, people in my chat are saying that um, we got a full line. So, I'm, I'm wondering if it's not even letting people call in now. Uh, well, we do not, have a very wow. full line. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's crazy. So yeah, people. That's why it's important to get in here early. Just make sure that we we you know that we do this every yes. Friday, six p.m. Yes. Uh, today we, was the second day in which we had callers calling yeah. the show before the show had started. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, and just a special shout out to Tierra. I know you're probably in here, but I do not. I don't know what your your name is on YouTube for the Ebo for my initiation. Thank you so much to Ambrosia as well for cash apping some Ebo for my initiation. I love y'all down. Thank you for the support. I'm gonna post the cash app again soon. So yeah, if you, I, I appreciate it. If you don't have it. the YouTube, if you don't have the ability to do it on YouTube, you could also cash app. Yeah. Uh, now, did we ever get the J, the fourth? J, no, we, we did not. What, we did what's not. the number on that? That's 5483. 5483. Yes. This is Jay, yeah? Star six to unmute yourself. 5483. We got people in the chat saying George needs to take his shirt off. I don't think we're there yet, ladies <laughs> we're and gentlemen. Not there. I know. I, I knew who that was, hey, too. Can you hear me? That was a joke. Hi, yes, Jay. we can. Hey, y'all. Oh, man. I finally made it. To I'm so sorry Welcome for the in. delay. Welcome. <laughs> No problem. Um, it's all good. I was I'm on my phone. I'm at work, and so whenever the show starts, I'm on the road and unloading my trailer, and oh, okay. now I'm finally sitting. And I'm mm-hmm. so I'm, I'm excited to be here right now. I'm also very nervous. So give me a second. Do not be nervous. <laughs> um, what we say, the nervous ones always have the heat. The always best have stories. the heat. <laughs> Can we shout out to the truckers? Though? What's crazy? Yeah, yeah. yeah shout, shout out to the truckers. truckers. Before I pop in. Shout out to the lady truckers, okay? Because that is a hard job. But thank you. Somebody got to do it. Yeah, thank you. I got a CDL, so I know how it goes. I Listen, said, shout I said, out. I said, thank mm-hmm. you. Um, so the story goes back to when I lived in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Now this house, it was a duplex. It wasn't like a full house, so we shared the other half of the house with a neighbor who was really cool. She was like a sister to us. Um, and so this house always had weird stuff going out, going on with it. And, mm-hmm. um, the one time, um, my mom and her girlfriend were sitting downstairs watching TV. I was upstairs in her bedroom watching TV. And she was like, she, she, was, she called my name and I was like, what's going on? So I come downstairs. She was like, Hey Mimi, did you, uh, come down the stairs and go back upstairs? I said, no, I've been in your room watching TV the entire time. Right. She was like, 
girl, I saw two <laughs> pairs of legs come down the stairs and oh, go back no. up. No. And I was like, that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> and so we, we chalked it up. We was like, whatever. And mm -hmm. so a conversation we was having, and she like randomly said a guy's name, Calvin. And we was like, first of all, we don't know no Calvins in our family. Right. Um, mm. And so we was like, who Calvin? And so we laughed, because paranormal is not abnormal to us. It's like everyday life almost was. So it wasn't something that we were scared of. And mm. so we was like, oh, that must be the ghost name. Hee hee ha ha. So we laughing. <laughs> he came oh. in the room or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and so one night, um, I was in my bedroom and now mind you, when you come into the house, you see the set of stairs, they're on to like they're attached to the wall on the left side. So you walk up and then you walk up right to the other set of stairs and then you get to the hallway down straight down the hallway is my mom's room and so and then uh, the room to the immediately to the right is was my bedroom that I had took over. And so we, I was in my bedroom. My bed was on the floor. And so, you know, them little Kool-Aid packets, some single Kool-Aid packets that everybody mm -hmm. used to drink back in like 2000 something. Mm -hmm. And so I had one of those sitting next to my bed because it was the singles. And um, I was on, I didn't have a trash can in my room, so I was going to throw it away in the morning. So I just let it, I just left it there. And so the next day I woke up, I was like, oh, it's gone. And I don't know what brought my attention to it um, immediately upon waking. And so I was like, oh, it's gone. And so I'm thinking maybe my mom came in and cleaned up a little bit, picked up stuff. Mm -hmm. But I started scanning my room for some reason. And we had one of those ceilings because, like I said, it's a duplex. They kind of, like, made whatever they could out of it. And then um, we had those, those office tiled office ceilings. And so you could push up and see up into, like, the space mm -hmm. or whatever, the roof or whatnot. It was stuffed and jammed in the corner of the roof in, in that tile right above the closet. I said, excuse me? Um, okay. So I asked my little brother. I had two little brothers. The old, I asked the older brother. I'm like, yo, uh, did you jam a Kool-Aid packet into the ceiling, bro? He was like, nah, why would I do that? I said, I don't know. You play too much. Right. And so, uh, <laughs> <he's been not. laughs> and so I'm like, mm, he's like, nah, that wasn't me. And I was like, all right, cool. So I asked the baby brother and I'm like, he couldn't have done it because he's not that tall. But also the way that closet was in that room is like a step up into type of closet. Like right. you can literally sit on the ledge of a closet. Mm. And so um, I'm asking him. He's like, no, it wasn't me. Everybody looking confused. I'm like, all right, cool. Maybe somebody's playing with me. I don't know. I go to ask my mom. I'm like, mom, I know you ain't do this because you don't play like that. But did you mm -hmm. put this in the corner of my feelings? I'm just covering all my bases. Right. He's like, no. I was like, okay. All right. All right cool. So I said, I thought, I thought nothing of it after a while. So I was just like, all right, cool. Um, I went to bed. I didn't. I, I could have cleaned it up. I could have grabbed it because I was tall enough to get it. But it was just like, whatever. Mm -hmm. The next morning I woke up, it wasn't there. I was like, somebody screwing with me, bro. Yeah. Like, what is going on? And mm -hmm. so um, I'm looking around the room searching for it. Now, for whatever reason, I decided to open my window. They had newer windows on this place. So um, it was an old school house, but they had newer windows on the place. And so the window actually had like the second out, outer pane window could actually slide down so you know there's a little block in the on the sliding mechanism of it to prevent it from going all the way down the freaking kool-aid packet was stuck in there i said Stop. bro who would do such a thing <laughs> i was like yo this is driving me crazy right now because who would do that and i know nobody would do that like they like my brother's play too much like he'll walk past me and fart in my face type of right stuff. that <laughs> kind of play that but we play. don't do that kind of stuff <laughs> That sounds like it was a child spirit yeah, or like, a, yeah, very playful. Oh, it was, it was a play. It was a very playful spirit because one day I was, I had just came home from work. I'm in the second, I'm now I'm in a downstairs bedroom. I don't know why I moved. Um, I'm in a downstairs bedroom and I'm laying down. I'm half asleep. And my mom, she had an attitude for whatever reason, but I, I was just like, I'm going to sleep. I don't care. I'm tired. And she goes outside because she went to go next door to my neighbor house. We had a key to her house. She forgot the key. And she was walking back. And all I hear is banging on the door. I'm like, why is she banging? Why is she tripping like this? And so I'm thinking to myself, all right, whatever. I let me get up and go see what she wants. Mm -hmm. um, she like, she come and screaming at me. I'm like, like, why would you, why would you lock me out the house? I said, mom, I didn't do that. I was laying down. I was halfway asleep. 
She was mm. like, you didn't lock me out the house. I said, no, I did not lock you out the house. I would never lock you out the house. It don't make sense for me to lock you out the no. house. Why would I do that? Mm-mm. And she was like, I literally saw, because um, we had a peephole. She said, I literally saw something block the peephole and and click the, we had a bolt lock on our door and locked the lock. I was like, that wasn't me. She was like, are you, are you lying to me right now? I said, I promise you, I swear on everything I love. I did not lock you out that house. Mm-mm. I would not lock you out the house, especially right now. Cause you got an attitude. I don't want to play those games. Right. <laughs> you said, I ain't trying to fuck like, around and find out. Uh uh-uh. uh. Right. Like with black mamas, you don't, you don't, you don't F around and find out. Right. No, so we don't play that game. <laughs> so I was sitting back and I like, I was so nervous and like, and I started shaking a little bit and like a tear rolled down my eye, but I'm laughing this off because I'm like, no, scary things don't really scare me. If it happens, it happens because I have face to face with entities before and I'm not like, I don't back down. Like I'm not trying to challenge it, but I also don't back down and I'm standing here and I'm saying like, yo, something Mm -hmm. is really playing around in this house. And I had that same experience. One day my radio decided to come on and it was like real static that that snow effect and um i was sitting with my girlfriend i was like watch this i heard if you say something to it like tell it to stop it'll stop yeah. all my mama all my hood <laughs> i swear to god I, I, I she said i can't make I this shit like, up right now <laughs> i can't i was like yo watch this and i was like stop and it completely went silent after we turned, because we had turned the TV off and we was about to go upstairs and it was playing. And I was like, why did the TV come on? I mean, why did the radio come on? And I was just like, stop. And it just completely stopped on instant cue. We ran up them stairs so fast. I was like, yo, this house got a mm-hmm. lot of jokes in it. It got a lot. It's a yeah. trickster spirit. And I yes. think we, to this day, we still call it Calvin. Calvin was messing around with yep. him. Yep. Listen, <laughs> I knew I feel, I knew I feel Calvin yeah. in my life. And well, thank you so much for calling okay. in. <laughs> Yes, we have a so massive shoe you, in here. I am actually thank going, you, thank you, absolutely, thank you so much. I have to use the little girl's room. Okay, that, this water, I'm telling you, that pure natural spring water. And it's I've been on stuff. brought to you by our friends at Ape Water. So yep. go ahead and check them out. I believe it's just ApeWater.com or Ape Beverages. Um, but we got Franny here. We'll we'll kill a little bit of time. We got Franny in here. Um, what what can we expect from the next reaction video on Bizarre Junkies? Um, so I've got. I've got quite a mixture on on the next uh, reaction video. Yeah, I'm still putting it together, you know. I've got some uh, paranormal videos in there. I have some cryptid videos, you know, that kind of stuff. And, you know, um, if you haven't, check it out. We we watch TikToks of all this paranormal stuff. I actually have one with the Mimic. We we discussed the Mimic earlier we on did, the show. We did discuss so, the Mimic. Yeah, I've got one. It's a fairly new video, so we'll we'll be live reacting to that. You know, um, what else? You're on like the cutting edge of like your TikTok algorithm is is completely yeah. gone. It's yeah. done for. Yeah, right now it's just drums, like people drumming, because I'm a drummer, and then uh, and then just cryptids. It's like <laughs> George. It's awesome. What is your for you page? <laughs> uh, it's it's like girls um by the beach <laughs> and they're like playing volleyball and stuff damn yeah mr fresh you got a for you page yeah what, what's, what's it looking like right now my for you page is all over the place i have everything from funny videos to spiritual videos to videos with people in bikinis <laughs> <laughs> hey, always ends balanced up. as all things <laughs> As all things should be. Um, So just a a reminder, um, it is completely free to call in. You don't have to pay anything to call in. There is a large queue. It's, uh, I think, arguably one of the biggest queues. So sorry for putting people's numbers up there. but Yeah, we did not mean to do that. We're at 13 callers right now. So obviously we cannot get through all 13 tonight. But if you just feel so inclined to Super Chat, we uh, we can get you to skip the line. I'm going to toss that number back up there. And uh, until then, I'm going to go with a random selection here. Drum random roll, selection. boys. Brrr. We're going to go with 2641. 2641. Two, six, four, four, one. One. Make sure you guys like the video. Uh, I, I pray to God that we can get... We have 243 people watching in the Black Cauldron's YouTube. 165 likes. Can we get those likes to match? 
I'm I'm OCD over that. We need that to match. Uh, caller, you're in the room. Hello. 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 Yes. Hi. Hello. Welcome yes, to the show. Hello. Oh my God. I am so nervous. Oh, so we got another nervous. one. Every time they say they're nervous, we're gonna have some heat. Oh, okay. There we go. Don't be nervous, okay, love. Let me... Oh Jesus, let me mute this. Oh God, I... let me let me pull out my whole notebook. I'm just kidding. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming with notes. No, she got she heat said, for it. I've been waiting yeah. for this moment the last couple of weeks. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I called last Friday. I got in like in five minutes. I got in, but I I watching you and doing everything at the same time. I didn't. I kept missing Star Six. I was like, oh my god. Oh well, I'm so glad we caught you. Jesus, let me just start with the most important um, dream that I am trying to figure out some clarity. So, my little brother um, allegedly committed suicide um, um, July of 2022. Um, so, you know, I I just, I'm saying, you know, my dad and the whole family, oh, Therese, he, he, this, he did it. I was in denial. No, mm -hmm. something happened. It's an accident. Um, so, you know, I started to pay this lady $50 for every eight minutes so I could talk to my brother. Mm -hmm. Um. First, very short. I I had a lot of company in my house for for mm -hmm. years, for you know a year mm -hmm. and a half. So I'm um you know my sister saying, oh he comes in my dreams, he visits me, I see him, you know all of this. So I said, you know, so I started to you know think, oh let me just see if he's gonna come to me. He comes in my dream. Now, this is the dream. I I'm calling him. He, um, a, a lady picks up the phone. I said, hello, can I speak with... She said, oh, Therese, oh, you want to speak to your brother? He's right here. He's been waiting on your phone call. He passes him the phone, and, you know, I'm like, hey, baby boy, how are you? I'm, I'm glad that you finally got in touch with you. He said, I'm all right. He's really, like, nonchalant. I said, why do you sound like, why do you sound like that? Everything's okay? I'm all right. I said, talk to me. What's going on? I, it's okay. I'm all right. And then next, I said, okay, well, I just want to tell you that I love you. And next thing I know, if phone, um, she comes back with a phone. She goes, hello? I said, yeah, look, I wasn't finished talking to him. Can you give him back the phone? She said, no, he had to leave. I said, well, can you tell him to come back? He, like, how, he just passed you the phone. And she was like, Listen, he, he, you know, he, he left, and that's it. Um, hopefully, he'll talk to you soon. Hung up the phone. Wait, and your brother was already deceased. This is after, right? Yeah. This is remember. This is uh, July of 2022. He he did this. Um, by the time this dream comes, this dream was actually November. Is that just passed? Up. Thirty seconds left. Wow, that's crazy. So, have you heard from the medium since, or the lady that you were going to communicate with? I, I, I left her alone at uh, the beginning of 2023 um, because it's a lot that started happening in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a, I had a lot of visitors. I mean, you know, because, you know, I was asking her, I was like, you know, my sister says that he comes and visits her. Why doesn't he visit me and she said he uh first of all he wants to let you know thank you for being the only one in the family that um believes that i didn't commit suicide did you tell her that prior that he committed suicide no 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 this lady when okay. you um you know you sign up with her whatever she's 50 dollars for eight minutes right she when you get on the line hello um she already knows your name because um, you just pay. So, hello, Therese. I need the first name and the death date. Wow. Cause, uh, and that's crazy. Thank you so much for sharing. Yes, thank you. Thank but you. that's crazy because everybody is, like, suspicious in the comments. And that's why I asked, like, did she know prior that he had committed suicide? Yeah. But the fact that she gets that as the cause of death, that's 
I mean, that's kind of telling. I don't know, but I would have been suspicious too. Uh -huh. I don't blame them because it's like, why put them on the phone and then be like, oh, you got to go. You want to pay for another eight minutes? Right, but but <laughs> but I know that I'm taking up time. I, 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 if I knew how to super chat, I would. I, 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 but really quickly, because I'm so happy I got into so much. But when I, I forgot to tell you that when I first started calling her, because I was spending over $1,000 like a day. And so wow. I was like, tell her, yes, I was telling her, to, um, she was like, I was like, he never, been, she's like, he said he visits you at least five times a day. He said he comes when he's with you in the house. He's with you when you get in your car to go to work. He follows me. He mm -hmm. comes from work with me. He, he, I, he, he said, I make, he said, he makes sure that you get, um, you know, everywhere and back safely. <laughs> she, it's a, I, she was like, don't worry. I was like, okay, well, is there something that he asked him, can he, you know, do something to let me know that it's really him? And he said, she said, well, he said that you think you're always going crazy because he's so scary. You know that it's him. Listen, I was, listen, long story short, I, 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 everybody that's suspicious, Let's me know that I was right about what I mm. think. I think monitoring, what do you think? Uh, somebody tell me something. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. Now, yes, before yeah, we you. go to the next call, and I, I don't know if she can still hear me, but this is what happens you. whenever people have gifts and they take advantage of people. Yeah. Because I do believe that she had a gift of sight. Do I believe that it was worth the thousand dollars? She was she was milking it. That's, yeah, that's not right. You don't want <laughs> spiritualists or mediums or tarot readers or any type of divinator to take advantage of people like that. That's not cool. Because not yeah. no, no, right. no, guys, no, no, no. Let me let me let me clear that up. I say that I spent over a thousand dollars because she is fifty dollars for eight minutes with her. Yes. Well, even so, your repeat client, my repeat clients are like, I, I don't, it's just, it's a certain spiritual law and code as a divinator that you're supposed to follow. If she I, sees I, you are spending okay. $50 every eight minutes, then we need to have a conversation because obviously you lose to the soil and that's a lot of readings. Yep. Okay. So I know, I know, I know that you guys have to go, but really quickly, you know, please, if, if the given that I just told you the conversation in the dream, was that my brother calling you to tell me something with my tea? He, I would have person. to do I would have to do divination, but she seems like she does have a gift that she was able to tell you things that you did not tell her. But even though I'm no. able to commune with the dead and do tarot readings, readings, I'm not going to milk it that much. It would yeah. have had to have been like, okay, you come here three times. Let's go ahead and do some type of pricing and it's back to back to back yeah you know? yeah so you know i would have to do a proper reading i recommend she book yeah book you can trail. do a reading with me or whatever the case is or you can go to someone else and see um no I, uh, uh, i'm not uh, uh, then someone else gonna be you uh, uh, <laughs> 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 I, 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 because at, at the last point i realized i'm like maybe uh, you know they're monitoring spirits I yeah. Don't know. Yeah, it could have been a, a trickster, but a trickster. Uh, yeah, it could be a trickster spirit. But All you gotta do is go I just to wanted to know. Yeah. I just wanted to know if he was okay, and I got a book with you. Yeah, my link is in the description of this video and all my other ones. If you would like, a I reading. have all of your information. Ashe, thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Sorry for your loss. Yeah, sorry mm -hmm. about that. But thank you so much for the call. Yeah, no, that's that's egregious yeah. yeah yeah but you know what um i see tiktokers who are tarot are mediums and all this other stuff they charge the same type of thing 77 dollars for a couple minutes i'm like that gets you a half an hour with me you know but i get it but when does it become mm -hmm. obsessive at that point like, yeah excessive. yeah excessive like when yeah. do you when do you say okay listen obviously you're searching for something that yeah, i'm not able to give you how can we help you? Well, no, because everybody's I'm, not me. I'm like right. everybody's friend. I, ha yeah. I always say I have almost 300,000 friends because yeah. if you come to me back to back to back, I'm going to be like, okay, listen, love. I've told <laughs> you four times already. Let's, yeah. let's go ahead. <laughs> well, no, and it's not even that. Let's go ahead and do some type of pricing where it makes sense so that if you are loyal to me, then 
the pricing will go down. You'll get a, a package bundle deal, not just $50, $50. Right. You know? Yeah. Listen, because that's the wrong, I'm in the wrong field. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> $50 for eight minutes? That's yeah. crazy. That's it's why crazy. I like my medium, because she doesn't even offer services. No. Uh, yes. And yeah. those are the best ones that you just walk up on at a golf tournament or whatever, you know? Um, is that what that was? Was it a golf Tournament yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, she, we, yeah. We were there. You knew her before. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So she, her, the, the Brian Hopkins, the one who did the ghost hunt with us. It's yeah. his sister. Yeah. See. So it runs in their family. They, they right. all got some. They're all. I, I'm gifted. putting it in the universe, and I'm just gonna be in a grocery store one day, and then a medium be like, "Hey, I see a, a bald black dude." I'm telling you right now. Yeah, and I'm like, "Hey, Dad," because I mean, how you know I got a, a bald ancestor, you know? So yeah. it just is what it is. Hey, I wonder. It just made me had an epiphany. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that lady that we met back when uh, our our Max, Max, Max. I know everybody was highly confused. Max is my daughter, and she is so jealous that the boys got to come today. And she's really a fan. Yeah, like she she taps in. So we have to make it up. Yeah. Yes, I told her next week. She said. Okay. She said <laughs> on rotation. Look, last week she said I was minding my business. I was minding my natural black business. Yes. Yeah. And all I seen was a half naked man on my screen. I I'm said, trying to understand. Oh, it was George. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. It was the end of the street. <laughs> but she had told me the week before people were saying George was fine. And so I said, because, you know. His head can only get so big. Stop. I know. <laughs> and so I said, Maddie, you know, I, I try to be, like, low-key with these call it Because it's adult content. Yeah. But she's like, you know, I didn't think it was that type of show. And it's I was like, hey, yo. <laughs> she's like, pause. Pause. Wait a minute, Mom. What's, what am I watching here? Right. So <laughs> I told her to, you know, watch. She's getting her hair braided. So she's watching. Okay. Hey, Max. Uh, did so, you get parental discretion before turning it on? She absolutely did. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you have to get parental discretion whenever Listen, your mom is. is no, yeah. I mean, I mean, she's like, a super fan. She really okay. is. She. We call when we say Austin, we say Mr. Austin because my brother's name is Austin. So they're like either who Uncle Austin or Mr. Austin. So she's so I'm like, Mr. Austin. you're yeah, Mr. Austin. Austin. That's she's, Mr. George. She's That's familiar Mr. with Franny. everybody. Yeah. Okay. So uh, she's. Hold on, so back to the story. I don't want to yeah. get sidetracked oh, from sorry, the story. Sorry. Go ahead. So back to the story. <laughs> whenever we, uh, Max. She was, I want to say, maybe six months old. Yeah. And a, a older black lady, uh, she had to be in like maybe her seventies. Mm -hmm. She walked up to us in the grocery store and she said, "That baby right there, mm -hmm. that baby is special. That baby yeah. has oh. a that baby has a halo around her still." Yep. And she said, "She's special. You need to keep her like covered, like protect her, yep. her veil and everything." Yeah. And then yeah. look, I was like, "Oh, I don't, you know, I wasn't. That was." 11 years ago. And she she's wasn't the one who old. gives us the spiritual issues. Oh my God. Like she is the spiritual drama. <laughs> yes. She's a, she has no bail. So is that the one that you talked about when we first had you yeah. on the show? She, you the were like one, fist fighting. The, the words. Yeah. She's the, yes. she's a drama for sure. The one that saw my ancestor and was like, yeah, Mama Rose likes to play dress up. And I'm like, how the hell do you know? That? How do you know or it that? Was, it was your, 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 mm -hmm. your dad, right? Yeah. Um, oh, yes, no. yeah, yeah. The she like, story hadn't, too. hadn't met yeah. him ever. She right? never, never met him until no. that's the whole story of how he died. Yes, and she was three years old, and that's why I say like this is why I did the call in show because I've experienced a lot of what people can you know tell yeah. me about their experiences. So I say and shout out to Max. <laughs> Arlene says she needs to put a retainer in. She's trying oh to retain lawyer, lawyer yes. services. Yes. Lawyer yes. Service. What, um, what's a retainer fee? Like eight right. grand a month for, for, for Miss... Uh, I don't even pay a retainer fee, but right. I probably should. Oh, my gosh. Being realistic here. Oh, shout out to Arlene. She did... She was um, my client that I gave a reading oh. to. We had multiple readings together. Um, so that was shout Arlene out to her. that said she wants a retainer. Yes. Also, shout out to Jerrica um, for sending over Ebo towards my initiation. Thank you, Ashe. And then someone, it was their first super chat. Yes, did. I did see that. And I'm that. trying to find it so that we can oh, give a shout out to them. I've seen it. That was yes. yeah. Let me see Just if I can go back to it. It was uh, Brittany Redman. Yes. Shout out to you, Brittany yes. girl. Yay. Thank you. Yay. We got to get the little. Um, the applause. You yeah. look so lost. You're like, what initiation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, initiating. Oh, yeah. Franny. Well, Franny Come was on. listening on the. There on we the, go. There you go, Brittany. <laughs> thank you, Brittany, for your support. Yes. Thank you. Yep, but you, I know you were a couple minutes late, but I'm initiating tomorrow. Okay, what what exactly does that mean? Whenever I fully find out, because it's very secretive. Okay. It's nothing you got to experience to know it. Mm -hmm. But I do know that I am initiating into Lukumi, which is a African tradition. Okay. So it's going to be a lot of um, animal sacrifices and, okay. you know, 
um, giving Ebo. So everything that anybody donates tonight partially is a congratulations to me, but it is Ebo for Orishas, which are spirits, goddesses, gods, deities, whichever, whatever you want to call them. Um, so if I come back on here and I ain't got no hair and I'm on all white, mind y'all business, I'm, I'm standing on mine. So, and for any, you there's, know? <laughs> also, there's also a possibility that she may get assaulted with the animal tomorrow. Yeah, that's oh. how it is. It's the cleansing portion. I, well, I told you I got my ass beat. Yeah, we got to beat her ass. <laughs> <with the> <laughs> no, we literally, and I'm, I'm definitely like, okay. Definitely so afraid of birds. At that point, I was like 315 pounds, right? Yeah. I'm definitely afraid of birds. Yes. Scared. I got my ass beat with a white pigeon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Imagine the fear. <laughs> but not but being more afraid of the ancestors and Orishas first. Yes. So I'm like, I don't want to get my ass beat by them, so I'd rather get my ass beat by <laughs> <Yeah>. the bird. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but you know, I that's what's going on in my life. So that's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, Thank you. Be cool. Again, I know a lot of people just joined in. Shout out to my patrons, my YouTube subscribers. My TikTok family, y'all really are the MVPs. Y'all made this happen. I created this platform just so that I could pay for my initiation because it's a long time coming. And now look yes. at you. You got a family of 300,000 people. I it's know. Crazy. All y'all yes. my friends. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, we, got Austin, new ones. we got Austin and George. Right. And Franny, that makes me think of like of. that. That It's like, it's like uh, that, yeah. that TikTok. It was like, you y'all are African-American. Yes. And Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mark in this situation. No, but... We it, riding with Mark because Mark is riding with us. Uh, listen, the way we start this call-in show is late every day. Y'all one of us, we be on CPT. You know yep. what CPT yep. is? The <laughs> color <laughs> people talk. That's my excuse <laughs> where I go. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> right, my mom, sorry, my mom. mom. My mom knows. Yeah. Your mom's I, been on the show, too. Yeah. I'm always going to be late. I, I try my hardest. It's his fault. Should we tell you? It's <laughs> should we tell you? It's live at uh at yes. like at like five. Listen, That's what I tell when my come sister. To, when they come to black folks, you mm -hmm. gotta tell us to be there two hours early. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Damn. All right. And so still next come week's stream starts late. at four p.m. <laughs> Pacific Standard Time, and we'll still be here at. And we'll still six, start at six seventy-five. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, that's what I told my sister from now on. But we're gonna keep it moving. I know we got a lot of people in the, we the do, queue. We do. We do. Yep. Well, um, we got until nine o'clock. Okay. All right. We'll. we'll... Uh, PST. I was about to say CT. That right, so is we got CT. Time. <laughs> Forty-five more. We have a first super chat in, on. Uh, on uh, on our end, and somebody somebody is commenting as me in my chat. Who <laughs> somebody's on my computer out in the other room, or is that you, George? No, that's not me, though. That's me. That's my. <laughs> that's who I'm. Lo okay, so somebody I'm on my sorry. channel is commenting as me. <laughs> who, is, who is out there? Did they super chat? Is it Jory? Did you? Have the no, I think he left. No, they didn't super chat. We had a lash D. I, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but she she did her first super chat for a dollar ninety nine. So thank yes, you, thank you. But on no, but on my it's it's me commenting saying, "Wow, Austin is such a cute." I just well, yeah, I see oh, wait, right hold on, who the hold fuck on. Is, who stole my identity? Because I don't. You don't want it. Zero three one nine. The last person super chat. They super chatted last week too. Star six up me yourself. <laughs> Zero three one nine. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna go do some super sleuth, and y'all, they will take this. No, call. I got you, I got you, I got you. The, I got the you. last person is from Sacramento, I believe. George has not got me. That's the zero person three we one nine. Week. Yes, it's like the Shea or Les Shea or something. Yes, listen, I am born and raised Sacramento, California, South Sac. Okay, I went to Valley High School. If you know, you know. <laughs> It was a lot of people from Sacramento or even the Bay Area. Yeah, you had some, last, yeah. You had Bay Area fans, but everybody know that the East Coast do it better. Ah, uh, bye. I'm just saying. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> What's you, right? Caller, right. you are in the room. Welcome. Hello. Can we hear us? Uh oh. See, it's the Freddy curse. No. Hello. Hello. Oh, there, there you are. are. Hi. Hey. hey. Oh, yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, don't be nervous. Everybody that says they're nervous always have the best stories. You are good, girl. Take your time. Oh, man. <laughs> um, yes, uh, my name is Cookie. I'm from Louisiana. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, well, I want to tell you something that's happening to me right, well, currently as we speak. <laughs> um, when I was younger... I used to have this dream. Oh, could you meet your TV for us? About this yeah, thing? we're trying to hear you good. Can you hear oh, us? Okay. I hear you guys. Sorry. It's all good. No, it's you're all good. good. Um, doing anyway, great. Um, okay. Um, when I was younger, I used to have this 
this reoccurring dream about this black dog. And, okay. And it had, it, uh, I used to have this dream all the way up to my teenage years. And over time, you know, it fades away. So mm-hmm. now, I'm, here I am, I'm 43 years old. Mm-hmm. I've had a son. And this is this black dog has returned, but it's it's in real life. It's in real life. I don't know how to explain it. It's this black dog that's been showing up in my house every single day, and he he comes in the yard. And he just stands there and he stares at me. So Wait, out of the blue, one life? day recently, about two days ago, ma'am. In real life, like in this, you're not sleeping. Yes, you're not dreaming. The same black dog. Oh. No, this in real life. I mean, I see this dog every day. This dog comes to my yard every day, and he stands at the end of the drive, and he just stares. And after a little while, he just goes away. So my aunt called, and my aunt is a she practices voodoo down mm-hmm. in uh, on the other side of Tiptoe, Louisiana. Mm-hmm. And she calls me out the blue, and you know she asks me is everything okay and what's going on, and. And if there have, there have been weird things going on with my baby, with my son, mm-hmm. you know, um, first he got a little sick, and then he got these little bumps all over his body. Mm-hmm. And this is what's going on now. And my son, my oh lord, just little weird things have been happening. Like I said, he got these bumps all over his little body. He's had this fever and everything. So anyway, I'm talking to my aunt, telling her what's been going on. And I tell her about the dog. And she said, it's not the dog I should worry about. He's actually protecting me from something else. Mm-hmm. Protecting me and my boy and I from something else. Mm. Now, we're new to this neighborhood. We've been here mm, three or four months. It's these, it's these people next door. It's four generations. You know, granddaughter, granddaughter, granddaughter. Mm-hmm. You know, the oldest lady is 101. And she's, you know, she's been coming over, you know, and she's fixated on my son. She's real mm-hmm. fixated on my son. And my aunt told me yesterday, she called me again, and she told, she, asked, you know, she asked about this neighbor, and she described this lady to the sea, and she told me I might want to keep her away. Yes, please. She's, she's the problem, and the dog is protecting us. Mm-hmm. Because when that dog shows up, you don't see her at all. When that dog shows huh. up, that you never see this lady until after the dog leaves. Mm-hmm. Listen, and I'm, I'm going to tell you know, right now because we're running out of time. And I know we got okay. a lot. I'm the, we're not going to make it to everybody tonight. Yeah. So just stay on the, it's a lucky whoever gets it next. But what I do want to tell you is, and the, the commenters pointed out immediately, that's what we call a lugao. Uh, a older woman or a woman that fixates on children and wants to do harm to them, go ahead and mix some brick dust and salt at the the front of your door around your house and pray Psalm seven and Psalms ninety one, baby. Seal your windows, seal your seal doors. Seal your I mean, mixture of you can do either just the brick dust, which is I feel like is a lot more powerful than just the salt, but all of right. your entryways right. and um, burn some some cedar. I mean, smoke it out. Let the windows open, and and smoke your house out because she's she's right. trying it. She trying it. I was asking, was the dog aggressive? Right, because cause my, 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 uh, okay. No, no, no. It's not that. That dog is there for a reason. Yeah, protect her spirit. Yep. Dog. Also, you can leave a pile of rice on your um, porch because if it is a bad spirit and they try to come at night, they're fixated with counting grains of rice. So. That, that's and my, my aunt told me about the rice. Mm-hmm. She did. Yep. Yeah. But thank you so much yes, for sharing. Thank you for calling thank in. You know uh, what? Them old hags. It's very much so real. That on you know, my my chat, that's immediately what I was thinking. Like, it doesn't sound right. Somebody fixed fixated on your baby. And there's a dog that is a protector. I bet you that dog, after she does what I say, I bet you that dog. Comes less and less because the house already be protected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's the it's the 
I'm so nervous, people. Yes, oh, they're they always like got this. good stories. Look, this is how I go. They be like, oh, my God, I'm so nervous. Let me right. tell you about the one time when I was a limousine driver, and uh, I delivered six babies, but mm, one yes. person died oh, in the yes. back seat it's of my car. Always the most, <laughs> like, what? It's almost the most, the best stories that they come with. And, yeah. you know, and I don't know if they be nervous because it's, like, unbelievable good or what, but. Mm-mm. It's because a lot of. And I'm going to be honest, a lot of times people don't have the ability or capability to be able to talk to people on live. Like they're yeah. talking, they're talking for the first time hearing their own voice. Yeah, on the show. in front of 252 you know, people. So a, a it's, lot of people, it's a and lot. That's just for you. Yeah. That's not the that's other not chat as well. Bizarre that's junkies. not the replay where we get thousands and thousands mm-hmm. of replays. So, you know, uh, a lot of people are nervous because they know that yeah. this is going to touch a lot of people. Yes. And, yeah. That's that's dope though. Yeah, is, you got guys the are amazing. You guys yeah. Have. and that's why we have the shows because we want you guys to feel comfortable. Like yeah. this is not, we're not gonna roast you for coming and calling it's a in. Safe no, absolutely space. not. Yeah. Okay. Unless you're here to call about George, then we might roast you. <laughs> or unless you're calling <laughs> to say that you have a, a goat that is familiar with JFK. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm still waiting to hear an update on the JFK goat. Okay. <laughs> but I wonder if I wonder if old did old boy ever reach out so he could buy a uh, werewolf. I almost wear a werewolf shirt <laughs> today. <laughs> In, no, in I don't, honor I don't that. think that guy did either. Because <laughs> I really was looking for a werewolf all Whoa. week. I'm like, I'm about to get my taxes. Let me buy a werewolf oh, let puppy. Me buy, <laughs> on, let me buy a <laughs> werewolf <laughs> puppy. <laughs> Make that a shirt. I need a werewolf puppy. All right. I told him it was 40 grand, um, and he could send it to the Black Cauldron at gmail.com on PayPal because uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How much you really going to pay for the werewolf puppy, though? Cause I know you ain't buying it for forty grand. Maybe ten. No, they're you know, like, you know like, we add that tax. They're we, like six. We add right. that tax. You might get it for two thousand right. instead of for forty. Let's you know, sit. flip it real quick. Mm-mm. Okay, so I All know right. we got a lot of people and so, not a lot of time. So lucky caller. Lucky caller. Three two zero eight. Three two zero eight. Star six to unmute. Yes, he was trolling. He was definitely trolling. The world. I don't think so. <laughs> Crazy cat lady said he was trolling. What if he really wanted a werewolf, though? I would have found him one. I you mean, can email me, werewolf guy, Vladimir. Email me. I got you. He said he was in Vegas, so we just got to hit the streets. And he was ask at the people. Durango. He was like yes. right down the street. Oh, that's yes. right down the street. <laughs> yes. Bro, we. Caller, you were in the room. Your phone's in the. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Hi, everybody. Good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. Thank you guys so much for taking my call. Um, I've been waiting forever, but it is worth every minute. Oh, thank you for hanging in there with me. (laughs) Of course, of course. Um, I've been watching the last few weeks, and I've been wanting to share my story, but I never catch the live, so I'm, Mm -hmm. like, extra hyped about that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, But, yes, I know I have limited time, but... This story happened, uh, this happened about 15 years ago. My name is Nayashe, by the way. So I was talking to to y'all like at the beginning of the live. Uh, I'm sorry? I said nice to meet you. Oh, you said nice to meet you. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Nice to meet you also. Um, But I have always had some sort of gift. You know, I don't know exactly what it is, but I've always had an ability to know things that are going to happen before they actually happen. You know, this has been like my entire life and I mm-hmm. don't know the word for it, but I feel like, you know, I may be sensitive because, you know, I've also had the ability to also see things sometimes and feel energy like very empathic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's normal to feel. Well, um, Trust me. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, but so I have a quick story. My mom, she's always had like very beautiful antique things. Um, some bought, some passed down through family. I mean, some of the stuff that we have is amazing. But, well, I don't know if it's coincidental, but my mom had a beautiful antique mirror that she bought from someplace. Mm. And so I watched her other stories about mirrors. and I was, You know what? Yeah. It was mom do, so I wasn't going to say, <laughs> now why she got, why did she do that? But continue. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yes, and that was my exact thought, but I was like, that is kind of cute, so, you know. (laughs) Uh, But soon after that, I started noticing a very tall and, like, a large, dark shadow figure walking around the house. I mean, just casually walking around. I didn't even feel like it was a malicious spirit attached, but it was still just kind of frightening to see. 
he wanted yeah, his mirror back. Like, That's what it was. <laughs> that, must been, <laughs> that seriously must have been because I, I mean he was walking around like he paid bills. Yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah I, exactly. I in the living room and the kids' tent. I'm like, okay, all right. Um, and he's also yes. Um, he was seven feet tall, so I know that some people oh. have like they oh. see those shadow figures that are mm. really tall and slim yeah. and. Oh, never They're mind. frightening. Never mind. That was not an app. <laughs> no, that was a D word. Sorry. There is Are a. You serious? There's a no and okay. I can't even say oh a God. D word, but a low <laughs> vibrational spirit. There is one that's known that's super tall, and I'm gonna get the info. But he, hmm. the people say he's like oh seven feet God. tall, and it's a shadow. I'm looking him up right now. Please tell me you can find him. I've heard oh about him. God. I didn't know. I've seen. I've seen okay. that myself. Yeah. Please let myself. me know. Because um, okay, so. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. It is. I've seen, seen it. I've seen it. Seen yeah. It. I've seen it. Child. Yeah. Yeah. I see. I didn't know that it was a D word because it felt, I don't know. It just didn't feel like it and was a malicious. That's theory. why I said, let me correct myself. Whatever. And I'm going to double correct myself. Whatever you were seeing is very common because other people have seen it. It's super tall. Mm -hmm. Most people see mm -hmm. it when they're in sleep paralysis, not just walking around. Like, when did you see it, Freddie? Um, I was I was at, at home at night, and mm -hmm. I wasn't quite asleep. Mm -hmm. I was laying in bed, and mm -hmm. but there was a lot of stuff that led up to the event. Like, right there's he, he said there's more to the story. Though. Yeah, like <laughs> like stuff was falling downstairs, and I heard footsteps coming up my oh, stairs. My yeah, and then uh, whatever it was. <laughs> Grabbed the corner. I I had a like a like a. It used to be an office with mm. no doors. That's where my room was when I lived yeah. with my mom. And it grabbed the corners of and and, and, and leaned over and oh it had really God. long hair. Hell no. Yeah. It was it was it was dark. It was the darkest darkest black I've ever seen in my entire life. And yeah. I would have left mom on her own, Frank. Yeah. No. I I'm I was 15 at the time and I slept with my mom for like a month straight. Yeah. I didn't. I don't. I don't even care. What else do you do? Yeah. You know? No. We we prayed. It was it was it was a big ordeal. Yeah. I've learned that ghosts are just ghetto. They live li rent free, literally. Yeah. <laughs> rent free. No, no, for real. Rent mm. free because I'm like you can't be walking around here without paying some bills. Like <laughs> anyway. especially the light bill when they start flicking lights on and off. Ghost is really disrespectful. They got the spirit of children because they just leave the lights on, play with the light switch. They don't turn nothing off. But, you know, um, I've heard of what you're talking about before. And you just okay. confirmed it, Ashe. Because he's seen it. Yep. I know I've seen something that looked like it you was super it? tall. Yeah. And people on YouTube. Yep. All the time. Well, thank you very much for your call. We're super glad you're able to get yes, in today. You. Yes, thank you. Yeah, um, it was. I just want to get this like little last part in. I hope it's okay. Yeah, no, um, go ahead. I cut you off. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you good. You good. Um, because I I mentioned it to my mom, and she kind of gave me like, okay, dear, you right. know, just like being passive about right. it, and it started making me feel like maybe I was tripping. Mm -hmm. So I ignored it. Didn't bring it up even though I would see him like popping up here, there, everywhere. So mm -hmm. I brought my friend over. We just had like a girl's day. We cook, watch movies, et cetera. I saw the shadow figure walking back and forth. And I, I guess kept looking over there mm -hmm. because my friend said after about an hour, you see it too. And I said, oh, man. I do. I did not know you could see right. it also. Not y'all both which ignoring validated. it. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Yeah. It validated my whole experience. And, you know, soon after that, well, she left. She was food. She was like, uh-uh, I'm out of here. Soon after that, my mom started to see the shadow figure. So I had to do some research. And, you know, I told him, you are not welcome here. You cannot stay here. You have mm -hmm. to go to the light. I found this on Google. So, yes. you know, but it worked. <laughs> yes. You got to just reclaim Everything your space. Works. That's all. And tell any entity that you see, don't be afraid. You, it's These people are like, or these entities are like Freddy Krueger. Like the more fear you give it, the more powerful it gets. Tell them you don't pay a bill. I'm not paying you no mind. Get get on. Bye. Yeah, you gotta be okay. fine for sure. Yep. Yes. Thank you so yes. much. Thank you again. for your thank call. You and thank you. You're welcome. I just want thank to take the time. To you too. I just want to take the time to shout out to everyone that is super chatting. Yes. Thank you so much. Someone, Shalina. I hope I'm saying it right, girl. I'll tear your name up in a minute. I'm sorry. 
But Shalina, thank you so much for paying Evo towards my initiation. I think Brittany may have sent another super yeah, she chat. Yeah, another one for sure. Ashe, thank you. I love you down. And then I think I just, someone else was it Crazy Cat Lady? Yes, and she's called in twice today, yes. so she's she has to Crazy be, Cat Lady's booming right man, now. Man, you yeah. are the real MVP. The she's real... super chatted to both channels. Yes. She's been yeah, I appreciate it. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what, what was, was that? that? It's like the the three super chat song. Right? We can like vibe out a little bit yeah. there. We're gonna oh. get it better though. Like, I hey, appreciate y'all. Three supers. Hey, three <laughs> supers. Hey. Now three me and him on beat. All right, you right. white. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> this thing though, I'm a musician. Hey, George is freestyling too. Uh, oh come on. This is what you get for going. three super chats. You get hey. George's voice. Ooh. I am calling hey. in right hey, they look now. Good. Where's the D words? <laughs> Where's the D words? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that. All right. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> Chatrell <laughs> says that uh, for, who who knew Franny had this kind of heat? Man, listen, Chatrell, we're going to take her phone away from her. Man, because she said she's looking for the entities yeah. that are paying bills. Listen, period. If you're gonna be in my space, you're gonna be in my house. You're gonna take a bill, pick the rent, electric, gas. Please, please, listen, pay, please, a please, please, please pay a bill. Please pay a bill. She said that about insurance. thirty minutes ago. I've been waiting to say that. Listen, she's, and that's she's looking what I'm for them. Where they at? She where said, they where at? They at? Okay, because <laughs> if I'm gonna have somebody leashing off my electricity and my spiritual energy, you gotta pay a bill. She yep. said it ain't tricking if you got it. Listen, and they got it. They got all the energy in the world, worldly and uh, spiritually. So bring, I need the money. Hey, just don't drain my phone battery. That's all. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, George, what do we all got right, next? All right, our next lucky caller is 8974. 8974. Star six to unmute. I'm give him a couple seconds. I know uh, people are saying that was definitely a banger, by the way. Uh, <laughs> we should drop that. Yeah, I'm just going to actually say, save that as a sound bite. I already and knew then, that was going to be a clip. Yeah. I knew it was going to be a clip. <laughs> just so I don't have to sing it every time. I just play the sound bite. <laughs> it's going to be posted supers. on on Gridiron. It's going to be posted everywhere. It, it, Three super. No. Three super. Shout out to Yasmin. Um, I believe she's a part of my tribe here on YouTube. I appreciate it. She said she was late today. That's okay, baby. We're here every Friday. And yes, but we still we still here for thir- twenty three minutes. Call so. you are in the room. Uh, hello. hello, hi. Hello. You guys hear me? Yes. Hi, my name is Andrew. Uh, I'm calling from New Mexico, actually. Hi, Welcome. Andrew. It's gonna be heat. Yeah, yep. New Mexico. Yeah, I heard it. Yep. New Mexico is hot, hot, hot. Go ahead. Babe. Yeah, we have a lot of spiritual energy here. Mm-hmm. Um, it, I'm not too long, but it's about a uh, shadow being as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to have an ex, so I'd go to his house um, and spend the nights with him until I went to work. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of these, I always felt an energy there. I don't know what it was. Um, mm-hmm. One time, I saw an old lady there, like her spirit. But that's for another time. I'll tell you. I'll call back in for that. <laughs> one. I'll call back in for that one. He's already leaving trails. He's already too hot. Let me go ahead. Yeah. Um, so one night, uh, we were in bed. We were sleeping. He's like a heavy sleeper, so he was out like mm-hmm. quick mm-hmm. um it takes me a little bit longer so i was just kind of looking around the room and kind of waiting to doze off it takes me longer so mm-hmm. uh, i finally get to sleep and it feels like as soon as i get to sleep i instantly just get this fear and panic and i can't move mm-hmm. and i open my eyes and i see like a tall shadow figure at the end of the bed mm-hmm. and um and I know you're not supposed to look at them, but I did. And all of a sudden, the shadows started creeping around the room. Mm. And then oh, no. um, I had noticed there was, I couldn't, I could feel pressure on my neck, my mm-hmm. stomach, and my mm-hmm. ankles, like people were holding me down. Mm-hmm. And I looked to my left, and there was like one there. And then all of a sudden, like hands started like, like eight pairs of diff- different hands hands just started going over my legs, mm-hmm. moving over my arms and my body and then my mouth. And then like, I was just praying in my head and then all of a sudden it was gone mm-hmm. and I was like freaking out. And, um, the whole time I was trying to get his attention, but he didn't, he didn't even know what was going on. Mm-hmm. Man. I, that has but, happened to me about 45 times. What? Yes. I, I struggle with sleep paralysis. 
This is why I'm a spiritualist. I be scared. I was afraid, and now I'm like, you know what? Y'all not about to stress me out. Square up. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. So I know exactly what you talked to, talking about. It feels like it's almost like an attack. It's multiple people yeah. all over you trying to choke you out. It's it's so scary, y'all. I and I always try to wake up, Mister Fresh. You actually wake me up, man. And then I be having to smack the shit out of you. No, nah, he <laughs> don't. He don't. <laughs> no, nah. sleep. I be like, hey, wake up. <laughs> he do. No, sometimes he be like, hey, 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 because I'm like I'm fighting for my life and my dreams. But it's very, very um, that's very common, unfortunately. I didn't know that they could do that with like the hands and the multiple things. And then when I fell to actual sleep, it was like, um, some, like it followed me into one of my dreams and like the people I was talking to my, my dreams, something weird was happening. I knew because I could just like see, and Mm -hmm. I was talking to someone in my dream and they weren't, they were starting not to make sense. Mm -hmm. And like all the people just started acting weird. And then all of a sudden, like the shadow figure like burst through the doors and then I just woke up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's when I tell you these spirits prey on you and you are in between two realms, this one and almost like a watered down version of the astral plane. I was going to say, because that sounds like being in an astral plane. Yeah. Everybody's looking at you like, Mm -hmm. how are you doing here? Yes. And um, it's unfortunately very common for people to go through this when they have like sleep issues, sleep paralysis, or just an episode. Some people, like, you've never experienced that. Right. Or did you say you had it like once when you were on like um, a medication? Or so like so that? my dreams got really vivid when I was on Lexapro, which is an antidepressant yeah. and anti-anxiety med. And like yeah. I was on a high. I was 20 milligrams a day. So I was on I was yeah. on high. Um, but my dreams were so vivid then and I hated it. Like yeah. I would be afraid to go to sleep. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Another thing that people experience or another medication is like uh, smoking patches. They will make you dream or even the really? pills. Like the nicotine? Smoking. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's why I'm probably still a smoker, you know, because I can't, them dreams, I'm like, all right. And then I'm allergic to the patch. So I have to take the pill to try to stop it. But then the you take the pill crazy. and, then and the I'm dreams are crazy. Yeah. I'm experiencing sleep paralysis. So um, it just, it really depends. Some people just have an episode and then some people really struggle. So. I hope that he doesn't experience that anymore yeah. ever again. I don't know if he's yeah. still on the line, but thank you so much for yes, sharing. Yes, thank you thank for you. your call. We're glad you were able to make thank it in. Thank you. You have another first time super chat. Oh, yes. Man. Do we have the... Um, That's Izzy. Yes. Thank you so much, Izzy. I appreciate you. Love you down. Do we have the, the round of applause? Round of applause oh, thing? Oh, yes, yes, there we yes, go. yes. George yes. is doing Come like on. nine jobs back there. We got to give one up for George. He's yes. mixing up that mixtape. Hey. Thank you yeah. so Wait, much. Really? Oh, he's yeah, making no, a mixtape. No, <laughs> can, can I ask you a question about, yeah. about the astral plane? So, yes. Obviously, we have movies like Insidious where yes. you, where they go to the astral plane. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you think that's an accurate that representation? Is that shit is yes, real. That shit's real. <laughs> Yeah, anything that we see on film, on TV shows, that shit is real. They just make us believe that it's not because it's yeah. so far um, from what we know as reality that we're uh-huh. thinking, oh, this is just a scary movie. Right. right. You got to think no. about it, Franny. How many movies have you watched where you like, that shit happened to me before? Mm-hmm. But yeah. but in your head, you think that you tripping because it happened to you before. You're like, mm-hmm. nah, that really wasn't... Like, nah. Yeah, no, no, that no. shit is based off of real stuff, man. Yeah, it, it's very much. So it, it's just come down to a point where things like even American Horror Story, um, and I did a, a video a while ago about um, La La Rie and um, what's the other? Oh gosh, I forgot the Voodoo Queen's name. Uh, Marie Laveau. Laveau, yes. You, you probably you found me from those videos. Yeah, you or can't something. forget Marie. Way earlier, way earlier. Yeah, than that. But, but, you know, an OG. Okay. And in real life, they say Marine. Marie Delphine literally ran off into the sunset with no draws on to France and lived a a quiet, normal life when she never even left New Orleans. She got the axe. Man, Marie Laveau, they locked her ass up in a basement just like they did on American Horror Story and... It was all she's. She wrote. A, so I didn't last pod do an episode on her. Yeah, she, yeah. I remember she listening. was a horrible. Yeah, lady. she had like yeah. slaves she's chained horrible. up and yeah. like she would torture yeah. them. She, she would do horrible stuff. Horrible. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, she, have you seen some of Bree's earlier TikToks? It's crazy the it's things crazy. she used to. She used to do. So it's like they put that on screen and Angela Bassett and um, my she other girl it. they she killed, killed it. And even whenever Angela Bassett, um, when 
the lady went to her because she was infertile and she was putting the hot peppers, like scorched peppers into her mouth to suffer. That is a part of voodoo, you know, to suffer, to appease the spirit. So it just comes down to everything that you see on TV. They want you to think it's bullshit. I'm telling you. So they're no, actually they, doing the research. They yeah. really no American Horror Stories really does the research. Yes. Like think about it. The the hotel joint was it the hotel one? Yeah. Oh Cecil, based yeah, on Cecil. Yeah, that was hotel. based off of a real hotel. Yeah. Like really in yeah. L. A. Yep. So it's like, how much can we keep on saying that this is just creative screenplay? It's not. Right. Well, I mean, Coven was a good one. Too. Coven that was so Coven good. Was good. That is actually one that I actually really, I watched it and I was yeah. like, I actually like this one. The yes. theme song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I love, I love it. it. The, I love let's it. Let's be real. The first season, that, that, goaded, that was goaded. goaded. Yeah. Oh, well, I my mean, gosh. I mean, the, the, the intro song. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. creepiest, yeah. like. Yes. And, but even the, the storyline, how it was House, wasn't it? Yeah, Murder yeah. House. Oh, my gosh. It was so good. If you've never watched it, please go watch it. It is so good. American Horror Story. I think it's on Netflix right now, but, or it was. But Hulu. Um, it's I, on Hulu. Yeah. Oh, now it's on yeah, Hulu. It's on yeah, because yeah, right it, it was on Netflix. Oh, no, no, no. It was on Hulu because I rewatched Kevin. I think it's Kevin. always been on Hulu. Yes, it's one of them. It is Hulu because Fox is on Hulu. Yes. But, but a lot of the things that they want us to believe, believe is um, fiction <coughs> is very <coughs> much so real. I promise you. It wouldn't even surprise me if Marie Laveau never even... They say her tomb is empty. Yeah. Yeah, they say it's empty and that... A lot of the things that happened in that season was real. But think about it, because we actually we actually went to her place in oh, New yes. Orleans. So yeah. when we went to New Orleans, like we we were really going there to investigate, but some weird stuff was happening when we went there. Yeah. Right? Really, you know? So like, I got super sick. Yeah, like su- I've never yeah. been that sick ever in my life. Like I wow. had to call a pair of like an ambulance oh, to the man. hospital. Yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> like crazy. it was it was crazy, but. It was so much stuff going on. Like we went to the actual, uh, to the actual mansion. Yeah. Oh, you did. Listen, yeah, the energy there was so thick. <laughs> yeah. It was so thick, like you could feel like the heaviness from yeah. outside the building. Yeah. I bet. Yeah, we took pictures, and you know, I took pictures on the outside of it specifically to zoom in. And I don't know if you guys ever seen that video because it's not pinned. But hmm. I feel like I seen faces in the window. I saw For sure. the, the pictures. For sure we seen faces yeah. in the window. Even and, and you can't see it to the naked eye either. You can only see it when you take the picture. And then so. when you go to Marie's spot, they won't uh-huh. even let you record on the inside. Really? So once you go inside her doors, like where yeah. she actually was, it's, turn them cameras it's lights off. Out. Like, you know, it's a gift shot, shop, but you <laughs> can't. It wasn't though. Back then she lived in it. Yeah, she lived in there, but then they turned it to a gift shop. But yeah. like you go in. It's like glass floors and shit. Like you're looking up and you're seeing like, Voodoo doll. Pop like man. It, you know, it's I really you need know to go out and check it out. won't let you film on the inside is George if we don't get to this next caller. Oh, sorry, oh, George. I'm sorry. This will probably want to be one of our last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think we can yeah. get maybe one or two more in. Yeah, I just, th- I like, because I feel like they come here not only for the calls, but for yeah, the no, no, absolutely as well. Too. Um, so I'm sorry, callers. Go ahead, George. My bad. Let's <laughs> see. Let's see. I'm standing over the head. This is the voice of the people every Friday night. <laughs> and they yes. want the shirt off, George. Uh, yeah. Uh, they, still, ah. they still asking for the goods, George. <laughs> oh, F coming soon. Uh, last <laughs> four digits. Four, three, nine, four. Already so, unmuted. Caller, you are in the room. Hello? While we wait, yes, Shalina, I did. There's an altar in there for her. And I, I definitely left offering. Caller, you are in the room and unmuted. 4394. Going once. Can you hear me? Oh, yep, yep there you go. Hey, hey, girl, hey. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, wow. I can't believe that y'all... Okay. So, <laughs> how's everybody? Good. How are you? Good. Oh, my goodness. You're so beautiful. Oh, Both of the guys you. are so handsome. Thank, thank, you. So thank nice. you. What about George? Is George good looking, too? Oh, my too? God. Um, okay. So, let me go. <laughs> Don't be doing George. <laughs> She's like, I can't oh, see him. Goodness. Everybody didn't see last week's episode. <laughs> oh wow I, I try to watch every episode yes I'm just in love okay um, this was when I was younger I was about I'm going to say about 10 or 11 mm-hmm. I was probably a little bit longer, younger but I'm going to say 10 or 11 
And I had told my mom and dad, we was in the living room watching a movie, and I just felt something. I was like, do not leave me in this living room by myself. When I fall mm-hmm. asleep, wake me up, tell me go to my bedroom. It's like, okay, okay. Well, they didn't do that. Mm. They went up in their room, movie went off. I'm screaming to the top of my lungs, mm-hmm. like screaming. I'm running. Nobody can hear me. I passed my brother's room. I passed me and my sister's room. Nobody can hear me. I jumped on the bed. Before I can get on my mom and dad's bed, something grabbed my right ankle. And, like, I felt chained. Mm. And something tried to drag me under the bed. Oh, oh so no. I'm, nope. Yeah. It tried, to, <laughs> it tried to drag me under the bed, seriously. And I, all I can remember is what my mom and dad used to say. If something ever happens, you know, j- just to say a prayer, say a prayer in your head, God hear you. Mm-hmm. I heard the chains break and it shook the whole bed. I jumped up on the bed and look out. It's like three or four really, really, really black little figures. And they looking at me and they just in awe. Mm. And, and what's so crazy is I'm sitting there, I'm so angry, but I felt a big old strong, like it was something strong behind me. I, I don't know. I really, really cannot explain it, but I know in that house that we grew up in, um, my brother, both of my brothers, I believe one of my sisters got dragged up under the bed. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. You got one minute left. We, we, yeah. Uh, they got dragged up under the bed, but I'm the only one that didn't. Mm. And yeah, I still don't understand that. One more thing, because it's one minute left. And this was about uh, two years ago. I was sitting in my bed, wide awake, just like the other situation that happened with me. I was wide awake, and I look in my uh, dining room, and I see purple, green, blue, orange, all type of different lights. Like in the ceiling, and I'm like, "What in the? What is this?" And it's just, I'm like, "Hold on!" I, I wipe my eyes. I'm wide awake, mm-hmm. and it just disappeared. So, it sound like you may have had some. You, uh, you're a little bit different than your siblings. It sounds like you got some kind of protection over your head, or very much something, because um, there's no way that you should have survived not being dragged under the bed, but all your siblings did. <laughs> dragged and I felt the chain on my ankle mm. and and the energy that came like it was an energy over me I didn't see the energy like behind me but I felt it and it was some other stuff <laughs> yeah. like it was crazy but I still go to like other type of stuff that's for another episode but yeah of I'm course. just so excited I'm so excited that I'm able to speak to you and be on you all show. And y'all are doing excellent and wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Many blessings. Many blessings. And prosperity Thank and opportunities you. to y'all. And just keep being great. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, so you Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I <laughs> appreciate right. it. I love you all. Talk to you soon. Thank Talk you. to you Talk soon. To you Thank soon. you. The chat is wild enough. They're right, starting yes. to tip for George now. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. On, on, on our end, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Oh. They got tips for George. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Lashed How much was it? With $1.99. So, but they okay, super chatted a couple of times, though. Come on with now. that amount, okay, first off, first <laughs> off, I got to give you the, uh, let's see here, slow jam loop for that one right there. Uh-oh. Sweetheart, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> <laughs> that one right there. 199 I told you in the comment section at the very end of the stream. You'll be pleased. Uh, <laughs> will it be a live show? Uh, unfortunately, that's not enough, baby girl. But maybe next week uh, we can get up to that amount that I will not disclose. Yeah, you know what? Uh, Cam gonna whoop your ass. Keep playing, okay? Right. Yeah, yeah. Right, that was too far. That was too far. That was too far. So what, one small payment of one million dollars. All right. We did, get, listen, we did have a super. Ch- another yes, super chat. Yes, shout out to Phoenix Rising. Yes. I appreciate you, and it looks like it's her first as well. Go yes, play wow, the, yeah. The bells and whistles. Thank Ooh. we. Yeah. We really appreciate everybody supporting the show. Yeah. Yeah. 
You went with, Izzy too. Without you guys, Izzy, everybody watching, we wouldn't be able to do it. Izzy did four ninety nine as well. Izzy, where you at, girl? Oh, Izzy, I think Izzy's I got Izzy. in the room. I believe. I think we talked, um, or I think I is it Izzy or is it? Yes, I think I might Hi, have. Carla, you're in that. the room. Who are we speaking to right now? Uh, can I stay anonymous for a minute? Okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, do you have a YouTube name? Is this I mean, Phoenix or yeah. is this Izzy? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to tell us that. I just want to make sure we were getting into the super chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just a little nervous, and the story is a little crazy, and so don't be nervous. Ooh, I am. (laughs) (laughs) They all are. I'm sure you got a good story. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes. Okay. So I have a few stories to kind of say, but. Oh, shoot. Let me mute my TV. Hold on. Sure. Okay, my bad, (laughs) y'all. Okay, so I'm going to tell y'all one little story. I have quite a few, but I'm just going to say this one because it's a little quicker. So I think, and I'm pretty positive, I have a gym attached to me. Um, I say this because... (laughs) I say this because... um, I had a guy that I was dating who woke up in the middle of the night screaming and hollering that he saw written on the wall, you're going to die. Leave. Lord. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) And um, I had another one, my fiance, this is years before that incident, where we moved to a house and... um, he wouldn't sleep in the bed. He tried to sleep in it once. However, it kept choking him. Well, actually, excuse me, he tried a few times. It was like two two or three times. Anyway, each mm-hmm. time, it wound up choking him. And so he started sleeping on the sofa. Well, one particular night, I was in there by myself. One minute left. And I was in the room in the bed by myself. And um, (laughs) I saw this shadow. It was standing at the foot of the bed. And it looked like a woman's silhouette. However, I'm not really sure. It was just a dark figure, a silhouette. And so I kind of closed my eyes, you know, and did like, you know, hide under the covers and stuff like that. Anyway, thought it was enough time passed. It wasn't. I looked and felt the bed sink down, and you could see the figure of someone's butt print Mm -mm. on the bed, like someone's live there sitting on the bed. (laughs) Someone's cakes. Right. uh, (laughs) Why? Ten seconds left. (laughs) Go ahead. It was crazy. It was loud. So he or she literally got in the bed with me Mm -hmm. and has been following me. For a long time. So I dated another person who literally could not sleep in the bed with me as well. And he started calling me a bruja. Mm. And I'm oh. like, I don't even know what that is. Uh, how you know offensive. That's not offensive. Uh, well, whenever you do, you're not. It's, you're not. If you don't yeah. identify as yes, that. Yes, it's, it's like a slur. Oh, it's it a, you know, you can't do that. Yeah. Like, people call me a witch all the time. I'm like, I am a spiritualist, and I'm sensitive about my shit. Don't be calling me that, you know? <laughs> but there are witches that, that don't part. mind, yeah. you know? So, mm-mm. That part. And uh-uh. I didn't even have an idea as to what it was. However, um, I don't know. <laughs> I started... um astro projecting out of nowhere Mm. where I literally kind of (laughs) saw where he was living. I had, we had, like, I'm jumping ahead of myself. We split up and he moved to a different state, different home, of course, everywhere. I literally astro projected, called him and described his whole house. And he was like, Mm -hmm. I told you. However, I don't know if it was just like the gin kind of showing me something or if it's even attached to it it in itself. But those are two um, crazy 
experiences I've Listen, had. Well, you you closed the show out pretty good. Now, what I will tell y'all is, is that um, oh, we have one more. We have okay, one more we got one more. super chat. Yeah. Um, my bad to my other super chatter, but what I will tell you is, is that it sounds like you have either, and I always get them confused, an incubus or a succubus spirit that's attached to you that feels like they have dominion over you, girl. That's why they keep running every man out your life. Cleanse. Go ahead and cleanse and uh, listen. Mm -mm. Oh, and that's very normal to astral project and see everybody like what they're doing. People do that to okay. um, to, to use it as bad stuff. Like I, I have people that monitor me that way, like weirdos. Mm. So Man. weird, right? Oh wow, wow. People but can I weird. say it, it's crazy that you said the succubus thing because I was told that I was a siren and that's mm. why they're running. Sure. Well, she's a, she's a yeah. witch and a yeah. mermaid. Oh, yeah, a witch and a mermaid time. at the same time, girl. That's you got crazy. it going on. You... Disney's about to call. <laughs> Disney's about to call. Oh, yeah, for real. <laughs> we because... need to get her on a show, fast. Right. No, I mean, people, they will call you siren. And I feel like that's kind of like the same kind of, um, it's not as offensive as a witch or a bruja, but it still says that you are luring them into people your People fear what lore. they don't understand. Yeah, yeah and they true. use, it's not nice, but... I mean, somebody call me La Serene. I'm going to be, oh, well, thank you. La thank you. That's what I am. La How about Tariq. that? Yeah, I run pockets on Lucia. Right. Okay. <laughs> she sucked me in right. with her magical was, song. Right. I've never little, I, call me the Little Mermaid, baby, because, yes. I mean. I heard her sing one time, and I was I was hooked. Oh, I never left. So sweet. I know. I never left either. Unfortunately. Four kids later. <laughs> but Somebody called 911. <laughs> For real. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I feel like you just need to cleanse, but I do feel like there's something that is attached to you and feels like you belong to them. Everybody ain't lying, <laughs> you know? Somebody see something. Facts. Yeah, yeah. To be nervous. And that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought too. So I just took it as a grain of thought, a uh, grain of salt. Yeah. And uh, and part a compliment. But thank right. you, and I shall cleanse. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. Yes. Super chatting. I love thank you down, babe. Thank you. So we're going to bring the last person in the room, but I just want to say. Did that scare you? Chytrell needs to take her phone. Somebody needs to take her phone. <laughs> yes, she, yes. Hey, she, she's wilder in the chat, and it's uh, hilarious. We just yes. had a, a my end. Um, I know who it is. Uh, shout out. But Veterans Minimum just gave us a $20 super chat. So uh, shout out to Nick, who uh, actually came on the show Nick. and That's talked cool. about shout his near-death experiences. Yeah. Um, he's also, um, before I got hurt, he was my, my jujitsu cuddle buddy. Oh, uh, oh, before okay. my accident. So okay. I'm still waiting. I'm Cuddle waiting. Buddy. Yeah, aggressively. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> I was the one getting messed up. So you were putting a yeah. headlock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guillotine, headlock, triangle oh, choke, whatever. That Spinal. Sense. Spinal. For, <laughs> for Veterans Minimum, the super chat of the night goes to Veterans Minimum. That's the yeah. that's the Yeah, NFL go check out Veterans Minimum. Uh, that, it's you. a great sports show. George is actually a co-host on I Veterans am. Minimum. Hey. Every oh, Wednesday. Yes. Every Wednesday, okay. yes. So, so we got a lot of we got a lot of spinoffs that you guys need to tap into. Yeah. You need to tap into Gridiron Junkies. Yes. yes. Uh, is it Video Game Junkies? What is Gamer it? Junkies. Gamer Junkies. Mm. It's not quite out yet. We just started. Oh it. yeah. No, I'm just kidding. No, you don't no, need to. He just about said it. It. <laughs> the Instagram is out. The Instagram is out. But okay. it's uh, I'm just gonna say on UFC four, uh, I am the champion on, on Gamer Junkies. Okay. I, nobody yeah. can nobody can compare. I'm just saying I don't even play UFC, but I'm pretty sure you could catch that smoke. Yeah. Oh, oh, is that a? Is I'm that just a saying. Ask George. I will disrespect you with Tom. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I got an Xbox and a PlayStation. Yeah, I can bring whatever junkies. system and we could hookah lounge in this bitch. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, for real? In the back? <laughs> yes. Um, I don't. Did I thank Jerrica for her I don't contribution? Think so. Let me. I don't know if I did. I, I don't thought know you if said you're her still, name before, but. I don't, I'm not sure, but Jerrica, she's always, um, she's on my TikTok live. She comes here. Oh, she's Thank booming. you so much for sending Ebo for my initiation tomorrow. I appreciate it. Shout out to everybody who, yes. who sent Ebo. Yes, who, thank you. Thank you who, to the support for everybody calling yeah. in, just watching, sharing everything. This show has really, really yeah. taken off in the last few weeks, and I'm really yes. grateful to and, we and have And Shai's and, like, sorry, y'all. No, no, no. Keep it coming, baby. We love it. We yeah, love it yeah, over George here. loves it especially. 9641, our last caller of the night. Star finish, 6 to mute yourself. Finish us out. Nine six four one. This is Izzy, right? I think so. I think it's Izzy. Oh no no no! It, this is um. Somebody sent after Izzy. I thought it was Izzy. 
No, we just talked to Izzy, didn't we? No, it's Phoenix. No. Oh, okay. Oh, then, Phoenix. then it's Izzy. Yeah. Nine six four one. Izzy. Star six to unmute yourself. Did she put her number in? I I'm, think so. I'm scrolling back through the comments real quick. Just because like it looks like it may yeah, just have been. Yeah, 9641, Izzy okay. Garcia. Okay. Just making sure. And let us know in the YouTube chat if you're struggling to get in. Izzy, you the last one. Okay, now we're going to have to take Max's phone. <laughs> uh oh, what happened? No, she's just sharing her experience. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's one it's one child that is telling See, the truth. Now Chatrell is saying that Max need couples therapy. <laughs> she does not need couples therapy, Sh Chatrell, okay? Chatrell, no, we gotta work on you and George first. Yeah. <laughs> Chatrell Max's only couple is is, no, no, is me, aka her, her daddy. Uh, her <laughs> sleep paralysis D word. <laughs> I don't. I think that's what the conversation is about. I was trying to go back up. And What's see. the number again, George? Nine six four one. We want to get to you. You uh, you super chatted. We want to make sure you get your call in. Star six to unmute. Give you about another minute here, and if not, then we can go to one more. Add you to the list for next week. We push you to the top. <laughs> yeah, her sleep paralysis. Yes. D -word. That's why I'm like, are we sure she put her number in? Because it almost looked like she was just sending because she enjoyed no, the show. But, but then she commented back and said, sorry, I'm late with her phone number. Okay. Well, that's okay. We're here every Friday. Hello. We don't... Oh. Hello. Caller, Hello. you are in the room. Hey, what's going on? How are you Hi, doing? How you Hello. doing? I'm good. Um, I'm going to make it quick because I know it's the last call and I only got three minutes. But this this uh, happened to me. It was after my mom died. And I was really having a rough time with it. You know, I got real depressed. And it was just a real dark time in my life. I had came home from work after working all day. And I, came, I took a shower and I went to my room and I was sitting on the bed. And I normally see like shadow people out the corner of mine and mm -hmm. you look and they disappear you know what i'm saying they're not there well this time i seen out the corner of mine i looked and it was still there you know what i'm saying it didn't move mm -hmm. so i'm looking at it and it wasn't like a full shadow person yet it was just kind of like a ball but then it's like so, like it wanted me to see it as soon as i seen it it started like jumping all around my room and going mm -hmm. like all over the walls like playing around and so like I was always told to say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And uh, as soon as I said that, usually that works, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it goes away. Well, this time it didn't, mm -hmm. and it made it mad. And, like, telepathically, like, there was, like I couldn't hear it physically, but telepathically I could hear it talking to me. And basically it was making it mad, and, like, that's not going to work on me. I'm stronger than that, da 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 so I didn't know what to do. I got scared. I'm like, well, usually that works. I don't know what to do. And then mm -hmm. like it, it, it turned into a full figure now and it had like long feet, fingers and red eyes and it was a mm -hmm. dark shadow oh, and man. it starts coming at me. And as soon as it starts coming at me, like I don't, the only thing I could think of other to do then because it wasn't going on, Jesus wasn't working. I called on my mom. I'm like, mom, I need your help. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I said that, like a white orb came through my wall and it mm -hmm. grabbed the black figure and it took it like through the other wall outside the house. And like I could basically hear like the figures, like the black figure screaming, like and yelling no. And like, mm -hmm. like that white figure took it away. And then the white figure comes back in my room and like I just instantly knew it was my mom. Like it wasn't in a form or shape or nothing, but I just knew it was my mom and like. Like, basically, she came, like, she came up to me, and, like, I could feel her hand on my cheek. Mm -hmm. And, like, basically, she let me know, like, everything's going to be all right. And then, like, I just wanted to ask her a thousand questions, like, how are you? Everything's all right. And then she basically, like, told me, like, without telling me, like, everything's okay. I got to go. I can't stay. But just know I'm always going to be here when I need you, when you need me. And then, like, she mm -hmm. just disappeared. And then wow. after that, like. I got better, you know what I'm saying? Like, after that, like, I had a peace with her passing. Yeah. You so, know what? It's so crazy. That's, I was the same way. I stopped, I was doing the Lord's Prayer for the longest, and then I was calling out on Jesus, and Jesus sat on the sideline like, mm, 
it's, it's it never worked. Like he did one of these. Like... He did one of these because that wasn't the path I was supposed to be taking. Ah, okay. So it, I, that's crazy that you said as soon as you called on your ancestor, then it kind of got spooked. Um, because I noticed whenever I started to move into another spiritual path or just have questions, I would say the Lord's Prayer. And now that I practice hoodoo, me saying the Lord's Prayer, if I ever do go through that works. But back then, whenever I was a baby spiritualist, and the, the D word look at me like, girl, <laughs> <laughs> what are you what doing? Are you doing? Jesus was like, he had a, a stick like that emoji where you can't see. Oh, the, bl the, <laughs> yes, the blind. The, the bl there we go. And so it's like sometimes you do have to call on um, other beings such as your ancestors, spirit guides, because they'll never let you suffer. Yeah. Yes. So thank you so much yes, for thank sharing. Thank you so much. The last call of the yeah. night. What a, good. Before we get to, uh, I can see. Welcome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Thank you so much for calling in. Um, I know George has already planted something, but Mr. Fresh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta somehow right. pick somebody to give this case of water to. Oh okay. yeah. It's it's a it's a lot of different options. You know, I yeah. seen a Leah just commented and said that she was hoping to win the water. So Leah really wants to win the water. Yeah. Um. It is good it's water. It's kind of hard. All of the stories it's, were really good. They were really good. I don't know if you guys know, but Ape Water, the, the thing we're sponsoring right here, uh, it's phenomenal. Yeah, it's really good it's water. It's really good. Spring water is delicious. Mm-hmm. And it, it makes it makes Noah go to the bathroom like three times yes. on the podcast. <laughs> but I'm the worst. No, I'm like literally the person you don't want on a, a road trip. I, I have a baby, but I'm going to go to the bathroom. 45 times. Here's the thing, though. You've never, you never went to the bathroom during the live and stream no, until, until we... No, until I got this spring yeah. water. So there's, there's a little something there. Okay. A little something there. So uh, who who are we picking, Mr. Fresh? I think... Uh, oh, the chat will be mad at me. Because <laughs> I'm starting to be uh, a little popular. Not as popular as Max, because Max got a lot Max of followers. Max, is, Max girl. is booming in the chat now. Yes, I She's see. She's that girl. Yeah. People, mm. they, they they chatting her up. So go yeah. ahead, Max. Do your thing, girl. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of inclined to go... To the, to the young lady with the phenomenal stories who super chatted twice. Crazy cat lady. Was it, yes. was it, or was it Chytrell? No, Chytrell super chatted once, but crazy oh, cat yeah, lady yeah. She super, super chatted, chatted twice on week. mine and then super chatted once on yours. Okay. Yeah, she, she called she, in she twice. She spread it around. She did once. A, yeah, so. Yeah. She showed some love to crazy everybody. Crazy cat lady. Crazy and, cat lady. And also, <laughs> she was she was kind of bigging up George, too. So she stroked his yeah. ego. She <laughs> stroked everybody's <laughs> ego. Well, no, I seen when he got it and, you know, he got... Tricks in that hat tonight because I seen it. Hey, listen, listen. I seen it. Well, I think, the tips hey, did roll through. Yeah, George was see? over here. I think he was shining up the gold chain. I don't know if y'all yeah. see. He probably got. He got. He got a couple ounce gold There's chain on right now, y'all. So he's feeling. And there is. It's Franny's camp, so we could. Yeah. But, but oh, yeah. George just got something else. Playing. Yeah, yeah, I got something. Yeah. Else but uh, okay, so crazy cat lady, go ahead <laughs> yeah. and send an email to bj at stickypawstudios dot com with your name and your address, and I will make sure that the good people at Ape Water hook you up. Yes, the water's really good and. People be like, oh, what are you talking about? Water's really good. No, different waters taste different. It's got, it's uh, canned, so it's got no it, microplastics. Yeah. You know what's funny? Yeah. Is Franny had this water originally when we were first talking to them, yep. and he buys it on his own now. Mm -hmm. yep. Like, we have some, I know um, Green Valley Grocery here in, in Vegas has yeah. them. Yeah. No, they do. It so was, it was a Green pleasant Valley. surprise. Yeah. Come yeah. across. And that's a natural grocer, so yeah. just yep. so y'all know. I buy all my herbs for, for the herbs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we go there and we rack up on all uh, spiritual spell mm -hmm. supplies. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Very, very good. Nice. But yeah. Oh, thank you so much um, to Cron, Cron, Cron Daily. Daily. She super chatted. I appreciate it. What kind of gum? <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> Damn, that's a good uh, uh, that that's was a good, good one. I'm stealing that, that one. That was a good, good one. one. Thank you yes. so much, Cron Daily. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, all right. So, um, Crazy Cat Lady said, I want my water. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey. So, send me the email. Send me the email, bj at stickypawstudios.com. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we have it up on the screen, but that's okay. BJ yeah. at stickypawstudios.com. Send me your name and your address, and I will send it on or have them send it on over to you. Um, George, we're gonna we're gonna for real um, um, we're gonna for real uh, hold off on that. I'm gonna yeah. Let everybody get their get their yeah. flowers first. So, Franny, th I'm so glad you're able to, to finally me come too. on the the call and show. I know you've been working me. hard the last few weeks, so yeah, yeah, it's like a little break. But we've got some more reaction videos coming. But other than that, yes, where can do. people find you? Um, I'm on Instagram and TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, but more importantly, I directed and produced a music video for one of my best yes. friends, Adrian. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Go to Nuke Pasta on YouTube. Thank you guys. Uh, Nuke Pasta on YouTube. The music video is called You Ain't Slick. 
I put a whole year's worth of work into it. You did. And yeah. check it out, please. Uh, show my friend Adrian some love, too. He's an amazing musician, and he yes. deserves Ashe. it. Shout out. Now, yes, that's amazing. I want to be a music producer. Let's do in it. In my head. Let's Teach do me. It. I got you. Okay. <laughs> I, I just want to be a producer. Like, I want to be a podcast producer and everything. I know. I'm about to get you oh, yeah. an internship here. I'm, yeah. try, I'm trying wanna, to intern. Do you want to intern here? Do you want to be able to, like, have your weekends? No. Okay, then cool. Then you're I cut out for it. I don't like having a life. <laughs> okay, then you're cut out to be a podcast producer. My phone, never, I turned my phone off last weekend because we had a crazy last two mm. days of the week. And I just turned it right back on because the three people were trying to get a hold of me. Yeah. And it seems like you got to be okay with getting paid on the back end, which I'm cool. I get my, I, yeah. I get my, you know. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. life of a content creator yeah. in general. Yep. I don't need it at the door. Let me get it on the back end. Yep. No one tells you how ghetto it gets yep. until you're in it, in the thick of it. Miss <laughs> Noah, what, what do you have going on for people who, for some reason, don't know who you are? Oh, my goodness. Because we have oh, a lot of, especially it. on the Bizarre Junkie channel, we have a lot of new viewers <laughs> that just found us through, yeah. through YouTube today. So Even, even mine. So, um, hi, my name is Noah. You can find me on TikTok. I have a lot of followers over there. I have a YouTube channel here where I make spooky spiritual reparations. Fuck around and find out tales. And I just, I want to just special shout out to this man because really he's responsible for all of this. He, he found me on TikTok and was like, hey, you want to be interviewed for a podcast? And I'm like, sure. So, um, special shout out to you. Um, I do teach you. spirituality right now. It is hoodoo, but I probably will change that around by tomorrow evening. I'll right, be teaching hey. a lot of different things. The come up is real. Yes. So, Patreon, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube. And, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So, we uh, right now, the merch store is free shipping. Um, the link was posted a little earlier. Yes. Um, you can find that in the description on the Bizarre Junkies page. Check it out. Uh, help support the show. Help support George over there, who everybody seems to love. So, yeah. uh, it George is a goat. George is a goat. Um, go follow us on Facebook. We're actually close to 100K on Facebook. And see, so, I struggle there. Please follow me on Facebook and follow Instagram. Follow on Facebook, too. The ratio is crazy. Yeah. See, face, see, for me, Facebook and TikTok are the ratio. But yeah. for you, TikTok and YouTube are the ratio. I know. It's because I don't post on there. But I need y'all to run my, my Facebook and my Instagram numbers yes. up. It's really sad. Can they find you as The Black Cauldron on Facebook? On Facebook, The Black Cauldron. Okay. On um, IG, at The Black Cauldron 111. Because yes. somebody's pretending. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and they message me all the time, not knowing who, yes. who I am. And yes. I'm like, are you for real? Like, um, yeah, I will never message, message you. And they were like, they're like, I love to give you a reading. <laughs> right. I will never reach out to y'all. Like, they really. We love you, but we're not going right. to. Yes. You, mean? Like, you, you gave me one last week for free. Right. Like, <laughs> I will I never you? do that. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> so follow us on Facebook. Um, also, th pr please consider becoming becoming a YouTube member. It really yes. helps support the channel uh, mm -hmm. for both of us. Um, yeah. On Bizarre Junkies, we did a paranormal investigation last October. It was a ton of fun. We have some more coming up. But uh, the the full video is 27 minutes on YouTube. But there's an un a one hour unedited version. That I call it the director's cut on mm -hmm. YouTube members. Uh, you can do it for as little as 99 cents a month. Also, the interviews that we got during the ghost hunt, you only see fractions of those interviews. But you can see all of them. Only if you're a YouTube member, so please uh, consider becoming a member there. Uh, we have merch for sale, free shipping, like I said. Um, shout out to Ape Water. Shout out to PuffySlippers.com. Yes. These bad boys behind me. Go to PuffySlippers.com. It's P-U-F-F-I-E Slippers.com. And you can use code BIZARRE for 15% off your entire order. Without further ado, George, where can the people find you? And what do you got, what do you got for them? You can find me at Mr. George Carmona. Uh, been been posting some fire stories lately lately uh, i'm a story poster so like you definitely want to catch all the stories that i post boom mm -hmm. at mr george carmona for that and to close off the night i did uh say <laughs> that you two everybody wants to stick around for this moment <laughs> uh, we did have somebody tip it was a dollar 99 tip and so for a dollar 99 i will close out the the viewers you know what? <laughs> that's that's this. okay. So that's I told you, I told you, I'd post you the screenshots last week when I texted Cameron. I, I sent her a, a screenshot of uh, the video where, of Shy where, uh -oh, where Shy was. Oh, sounds no. like it. All your little witch fans, and oh. I said, "One second, wait, what? Else? <laughs> What's going on here?" All right, but anyways, the moment you've all been waiting for. Boom. You know. Hey, uh, pause the video there. She Bow. I hit oh. you with that one right there. Why am I only wearing one glove? I only had one. And <laughs> the money shot. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Bink. Oh, oh my gosh. No oh my God. God. We'll see you back next week. Max, turn your screen off. Uh, Don't Max, miss turn your it. screen off. 
Caller, you're on the air. Threatened, I felt unwelcome, and it was a death. And so then I went to my pastor and I was like, what's going on? He's like, oh, you know. But I do have something that's just both. So I've always had a lot of things happen to me all my life. So I'm going to. Thank you. 